Talk fast, you have one minute. Cause on a Friday night, me have a tune in to Real Talk on Stars 96 FM. Me and you have questions about love, birds, and the bees. Not to mention the ticks and the fleas. So you try tune in on a Friday night between 9 and 12 for Real Talk. At a show we discuss everything real and nothing ID. Good night, y'all. Good night, good night, good night. Good night, Father Jacko. And good night to all the wonderful listeners out there in Radio Land. Welcome, one and all, to Real Talk. And guess what? It's your girl, Lady Cleo, and Daddy Rude on set tonight. So, tell your friend to tell your friend to tell your friend that Real Talk is on Styles 96 FM. 96.1, 96.5, or 96.7. And our... I was about to say our DJ. Well, yeah, DJ. Our engineer in studio tonight is s- s- the silent... Ass- <laughs> Cassidy, yeah, Cassidy is in studio with us tonight because I'm, I'm about to get my tongue all tied up in a big knot or something. So Daddy Rude is wearing one of his expensive, can I sell, tell you, one of his expensive shirts, ladies? Yeah, and you know, <laughs> I can't forget that, right? I can't. Yeah, man. So wherever you are right now, if you are in a taxi somewhere or you're in a minibus, Chilling, can't wait to go home, to reach home, going to work, and say, well, I wish we could have stay home and sleep, or listen to Real Talk. Wherever you are tonight, we want to welcome you to the show, and we hope that you will go with us from now until 12 midnight. We hope to educate and entertain you. So we're hoping to edutain you as we go throughout the show. All right, if it's your first time listening in, hey, Abuna Nunus, welcome to you. And if you are listening from overseas, it's good to feel that sense of yard, don't it? Yes, man. If you're watching also via the World Wide Web, hello, y'all out there. Mm-hmm. Or watching us on the Facebook Live. You know, our feed is live on FB, so you can check us out at Styles. FM, and can I have those social media pages, Cassidy? Yeah, so you can check us out on Facebook, check out the fan page, and watch the live feed. Feel free to leave a comment or two. Mm-hmm. And you know we have the post shows um, on YouTube, right? So you can go back and you can watch the show, or any other show for that matter, that you might have missed. So it's, of course, Styles FM Radio on YouTube. And for Style, for Facebook, it's Styles FM 96.1. All right? And our Instagram friends, you can follow us at Styles FM. And on Twitter, follow us at... St- <coughs> Sorry. On Twitter, follow us at Styles 96. <coughs> Sorry. Styles FM 961. That's Twitter, Styles FM 961. And Instagram, follow us at Styles FM. Shout outs to <clears throat> all our friends in St. Anne. Yes, we welcome you tonight to the show. Um, thanks for tuning in. We also want to welcome and acknowledge our friends in St. Mary, all our St. Mary peeps. Big ups, big ups, big ups. You know, when we say styles, we say St. Mary. Yeah, a lot of people. And of course, not to leave out the St. Thomas folks who just have styles and them art, mind and body all over. Yes, <laughs> big ups to all the peeps over there in St. Thomas who keep it locked to styles and who are now locked in to Real Talk and our very own Yardies right here in Portland, our very own parishinas um, who support the Little Boat Talawa and Growing Station, Styles FM. Thanks for the support, the listenership, you know, and all the people them who call in and text in and everything in to Real Talk. It's your night tonight to share. Tonight will be about understanding more about us, the the very species that the men can't live without. And they might admit that, well, I can't manage them sometime, you know, but they really, really still can't live without us. Uh Uh-huh. So it's a little bit about the women tonight, and I, I trust the brothers out there will be listening in. And, of course, feel free to call in and to share your displeasure 
our pleasure with the female gender. Mm-hmm. Tell us what you feel, what you understand, what you don't understand, what you want to understand, what you're trying to get. And for the women also, I want you to call in and share what it is that you know that the men don't get. The brothers ain't getting this particular thing about us, right? So one will help the other to, of course, further understand as best as possible, yeah, the species that they really, really can't live without. And equally so, if we were to try to live without the men, mm, we can't really live without them either. We, we want them around, right? So it's best that for all parties involved, we try to understand each other. All right? So Rude is with me. And by the way, who did I leave out? I left out some people. I'm sure I left out. Oh, yeah. Those on-the-go numbers. So here are the on-the-go numbers for those people who are on-the-go in the USA, Canada, and the UK. So the USA number, Daddy Rude, is <laughs> on the spot. 712-832-2772. And the UK number is? <laughs> clear? 33 That's not nice. <laughs> and Canada, it's six four seven nine five seven nine six three seven. Those are the on the go numbers. And big ups to our friends in Brooklyn and Bronx. Yeah, oh, tune in, of course, on a Monday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Fridays, and Saturdays. Bro in Brooklyn, it's 91.3 FM. And in the Bronx, it's 102.9 FM. And those numbers, if you wish to call us later on as the show heats up. Hey, the local number is 876-453-1444. Easy to remember. Four five three one triple four, and if you are going to be calling from overseas, that number is nine five four three three eight seven nine seven three. That's nine five four three three eight seven nine seven three. As I said, overseas, my mind just flashed back on Charmy Charmy and Dan Dan for some strange reason. I, I've heard from all our other friends recently, yeah, like Lisa. And by the way, y Yashika, yeah. Yakisha, sorry. Where is Yakisha? And Dandan, he's on vacation or something? In the Alps Mountain or something? I don't know. The Andes, where is he? Dandan, where are you? And, and, and where is Fitzroy? The American AC Club. It's like weeks ago he called, shout out to me, and that was it. So people, please feel free to WhatsApp us on that same local number, 4531444. Text us on that number as well or call us locally on that number. Remember, we can't accept WhatsApp calls on it though, all right? And foreign people then, please, may I beg you know, call me tonight. Come on, ear front uno. <laughs> okay, Lisa, don't mind that your friend of me is in studio tonight. Just call me. Okay, Lisa? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think she only has strength on well, WhatsApp. On WhatsApp? Yes. Oh, I hear you. You know them liquor on people, eh? Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. So what's been happening with you? I'm kind of tired -ish. You look hungry. You're and hungry? that too. No, well, not really. I'm not hungry. I'm just um, kind of drowsy-ish. But that's drowsy? the vibes. Drowsy? Yeah. You took medicine? I'm mm -hmm. um, just tired. Just tired? Just tired. So you told me, pop down. That what, not good? One of them things there. Oh my goodness, it's a good thing we have a guest, a special guest coming in for you guys later on. So if we pop down, she will help to push us back up. Yes, <laughs> yes, definitely. I know she will. Uh, what's, what, has, what has your week been like? Um, the week was work. I mean, nine to five work. My work? Work? Me, me, lose, <laughs> me, me lose my laptop. Um, it crash. So. Oh. Yeah. Would you have preferred to lose it the other way or this way? Crash way? No, um, none of the two, right? Uh, uh, crash is better. Crash because, is better? Because, yeah, if someone, okay. you mean if someone stole it? Mm -hmm. Um, no, I'd rather it, it crash because then person would have access to a number oh, okay. of things that you would not stuff. want right, right. Them to Business code. related stuff. Okay, good. Because my, my computer no use for 
my computer not really used for you know, whole heap of, you know, what are you download suggesting? and stuff. What are you suggesting? That mine is? No, yours crashed? No. Oh, no, man. I, I'm just saying that mine, and let me have no old off. We like all them guys who oh. download Serrat one. Oh, I was, no. just, I was just checking. No, but it, 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 uh, maybe it has done its so time. He's still in that, he's still in UL Jackson's mode, Jackson mode, people. Okay, go ahead. It's now 9.30, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And the Real Talk is sponsored <laughs> by Native Audio Stage and Lighting at Film Tonight as soon come. <laughs> The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. The Jamaica Customs Agency will be in your parish on Wednesday, September 25, 2019 at the Moran Villas Hotel, Morant Bay from 1.30 to 6.30 p.m. for Customs Meets the Community. Get information on clearing your items by air and sea. Come for the talks, prizes, and giveaways. That's Customs Meets the Community on Wednesday, September 25 in Morant Bay. The town hall session begins at 4 p.m. Are you sick of living an average life and tired of just getting by? Do you want to take your life to the next level? Learn the secrets of the super successful. Listen to Power in a Half Hour with Coach Mark this and every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Learn the habits of the super successful and how to make these habits work for you. Learn to turn your dreams and desires into reality. You can win in the game of life. Let Coach Mark show you how every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Planning a party, club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low-priced promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Adele Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Yep. Welcome back to Real Talk on Styles FM Radio. If you're just joining us, good to have you on board. And, of course, as I said earlier, we're going to be having a visitor coming in later on. I won't tell you who it is yet, but you'll hear and see her soon. All right? Um, no, <laughs> I have an issue that I just have to just talk the things them, right? And this is really a burning Real Talk. Ever so often we are hearing of, it's, it's, it has become a cliche, um, state of emergency. Mm -hmm. It's like when somebody say, I love you casually. Honestly, for many people, it's just like you go through one ear and come out through the other. Because it, like, it's cliche and meaningless for some, for some people, the way they use it. Loosely. I, I think this state of emergency just not... not it's not an emergency. This state is under no emergency. I mean, I know what it means, but just hearing it, it's like just a normal, a normal other phrase. That's how it's being treated by these criminals, and I really think it's a waste of time. I don't think it is the ultimately effective crime strategy or plan to reduce or eradicate, which I don't know if that's possible to eradicate it, but to reduce the level of crime in our country, I don't think this is the way to go. 
I think it's a waste of taxpayers' dollar. I think it's a waste of resources, other resources. And my take, from what I learned, statistics showed that fewer, um, more, well, guns that have been brought in has not been less. Or okay. more, rather. More. Right. It's, it's less. And there's another stats. Um, the number of persons arrested, <laughs> it's not less either. Is crime less? Um, uh, <laughs> hard crimes, um, um, murders, is it, has it lessened? I can't remember that stats right off my head right now, but... If it is that during a state of emergency, during no state of emergency, certain crimes are, being, are taking place. And then at the same time, during the state of emergency, you do have wanton criminals still going around committing the murders during the very state of emergency. Then to me, you know, it really makes no sense, makes no difference. Right? These criminals, they migrate to other parishes, parishes that are less heated up, quote unquote, yeah, where it's... It, the calm is there, so to speak. And they go there and they set up their roots. Yeah, and they settle there. And of course, over time, if that area starts to get heated up now and the police decides to come to that section for a state of emergency, then they go in hiding again and go somewhere else. Right. So they just keep parish, in my view, they just keep parish upping. And it's not helping. Do you think it's helping? Um, it is helping in in one sense, um, which is we're in that in so in those areas, crime has declined in those areas, and w whether it is for the medium term, I I think the first one um, that they had in Montego Bay, yeah, that one was very effective. I would think so too, but, but then because but, 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 but of since, frequency of but it, but since it lifted, right. And I guess the criminals would have come back home. Because <laughs> when, when, when they had the state of emergency in Montego Bay, I believe that St. Elizabeth felt the wrath because mm -hmm. migrating criminals went to St. Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Now, one other thing, because I don't know what necessarily is the solution, right? But the... Knowing, based on the first one that was done and observing the migration of criminals, I believe that they should actually start to um, think of educating mm -hmm. the parishes that are not used to having... A state of emergency? ...having criminals you know, th that are used to the peace, because I don't think St. Elizabeth would have expected that. So the, 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 the citizens would have been caught off guard, mm -hmm. not knowing how to, to, to deal with 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 ardent criminals coming in and intimidating you, so I believe that knowing that migration is what is possible, they should also put things in place for even those police um, departments in those parishes, parishes to be more on the alert, um, being more involved in community-based policing. Mm -hmm. So once the police is involved with the community, they, they themselves would start to realize that there is a stranger in town, hmm. right? And start to realize even, even if you're not having direct um, view of the stranger or know who that stranger is, you probably would start to notice a change in behavior of the citizens within the town. I'm going to use a healing and a healing again. You're not going to wonder why, right? The peace the lady will, will use a jag and the man and she not jack again. You're not gonna wonder why. The people who used to do a certain things and, and them lifestyle has Change. changed. Right? Maybe drastically. One other thing, you know, I believe that if you start to attack the informal culture, the Nata culture, the mind my own business attitude where we take up. Because the neighbors ain't protecting the neighbors anymore. Everybody that protects the boy, yo, oh, we know so that the man over there's a strap, but you him now do me not many my friends, so everything good. Until a member of your family mm -hmm. or you become affected, then you and him good. But 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 in so, in, in a sense, no, that's difficult for many people, you know, because when it is that they do know something, 
many of them will tell you that they are not going to speak. That's why I, mean, that, that's why I said they, 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 need to, they, they need to attack the informal culture. Yeah, but where, culture. where it does start, it begin? It, it begins like starting. You, you with whom? With, 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 with you whom? have to start getting the schools, getting the kids' head. You know, you know, Dwight and I had a conversation and one of the points he noted that there was, there has been debate that, and it's true, that the crime did not co start overnight. No, it didn't. And there's no way any one remember, or extended remember back of in, emergencies back in, back in can days, it, it was, resolve this It was issue. chain grabber, you know. Listen, the real, one, of the, one, of, one of the part about it, you know, is that the guns, the persons are protecting their borders. Mm -hmm. from things coming in. But they are not protecting it from things coming out. Mm -hmm. So if you look on the amount that is expended on, um, where do I say, um, what do you call it? What, what do you call it? Border protection for America. What, what are the name for it? In the States, man, they have a name for it. Whatever they want to call it, right? Mm -hmm. um, so that's security. The amount of money spent on that. How much money in comparison you think is spent on things leaving? Right? Mm -hmm. Now you talk about a wall. The wall is not for, 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 for things coming out. Mm -mm. It's for things and people coming in. Mm -hmm. If you look on the export and how things leave the United States and come to Jamaica, how, how much are we investing here on identifying weapons? And not just identifying weapons, having the right tools, and tools including human resource. When you talk about the WAF and the customs, most people get a fear because of how much they're going to charge them. Mm -hmm. They're going to dig them up. They're oh, not yes. dig you up, not for the time, for find, for find illicit, no, illicit no, stuff. They're going to dig up for say, the wah, billio. Wah, how much to bill you? How much to bill you? Yeah. So the way how you are trained, <laughs> the way how they come across to you is more as if you are a Criminal, criminal trying to bring in things, things. for try to beat the system for sell back. And the irony right? is the, the criminals who are bringing it in, they well, go well, through scotch free. Everybody are igla. And them treat you like you're yeah. igla. And you're just hustling. Right? Yeah, hustler and a money you want coming yeah. come sell things. Right. The, the the way how it is being done is not the right approach, in my opinion. It's an approach for one aspect. A man I bring in something, if you bring in over six a commercial. If you have six picnic. <laughs> yep. Right? Or you bring down things for your auntie and your uncle and your sister. You have a lasting family. You have a big right? family. What's wrong with but, that? But them look at things. Oh, boy. You see the clocks so for them having it? The, yeah. the, the attitude yeah. is bad mind. People will look at right? you, your outfit or your have on, and want to tell you, hey, they did that to me. Go in the nun no, to no, the no, clear no, line. The, the, the clear line. When I, when I <laughs> told you explicitly, I have nothing to declare. to declare, but then you look at me from head to toe and tell me, still go in that line. Exactly. Only to go in there for like, you know, book up for hours. Hours. Right. Nearly faint way. Lo and behold, young man tell me, let's open one bag basically. One of the three, four bags. Um, okay, miss, you may go. Go. Crazy. So, you know, the, 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 the approach is, 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 is one that must start from the generation that's coming. Mm hmm so educating right? the people is very important. It's very important. And, and, ha and having the people to gain confidence mm. in you as a service delivery for not just... Because right now, you know, it's not just... I, 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 I don't see much of serve and protect anymore. <laughs> I don't see much of that. I don't feel much of that anymore. Yeah. Of serve and protect. Right? Because... If, if two somebody have an argument, as far as I say, the first somebody will go to the police, go report it, I go get them protection. Mm -hmm. Now, when you go to know, you already been, been, been judged. Mm -hmm. And sit down on the bench for hours, um, the mm -hmm. thing where the bridge bring out what they about care, we say, boy, they going to detain you, and, 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 and making a mockery, as far as I'm concerned, talking about offering a service, and they going to detain you from, from Friday and prison in the whole because Tuesday, blah. It's an intimidating a way to intimidate mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. So if you have the resource, for me, commit an offense downtown, and, and you are got a traffic offense, and you are going to transport me go all the way to whichever police officer's club or wherever he said it all go on, <laughs> right? Uptown. 
Mm -hmm. I want to trailer load a gun, I come in down a wharf, downtown. It is more important than to yep. mm -hmm. offer that service to me mm -hmm. because I'm me the criminal. Because me never have on a seatbelt or because this and that. When really and truly, the way how traffic is being managed is all about indiscipline on the road. Yep. And then a man get a ticket and the system itself is not set up a way for the man, for the entrance of the man paying ticket. So, no for the time, you know, we attack the human, the, 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 the human where That's I commit so the crime. Yeah. Right? And we call crime matter about the, the, the ticket now, the traffic business. But at the same time, the resource is not in place for allow the crime fighter, which are the said police. Yep. If you know, so once we get a ticket, it must pay. Why is it that when they run, run a light in the United States, no, no, no police now have to run your dung? Mm -hmm. No police now have to run your dung, brethren. You have a whole a camera system all over the place where them comes up, bam, and take your picture. Yep. Bam and take a license plate. Bam, something reaching at the mail. Everything linked to your um the social security. Social security so they won't find you. Yep. They because put those investments. In because place. guess what now? If me then at the states, I may drive a particular vehicle. At the vehicle, they're my auntie you now. The vehicle, they're my auntie. The vehicle owner, I go get a ticket there. No me. <laughs> so me have to drive for my peace and kids. Cause me know say me can't go back to my yard if me ever get, get in a trouble. But likewise, when we, with the type of discipline or indiscipline where we have, yes, and, and lack of respect for other people's yeah. time, everybody are going to drive off when them see the light are red. Well, from amber, everybody speed up. Oh, yes. And when it's turn ironic. red, a man says, boy, my must can beat, beat it, it before the next man comes. Yeah, come, yeah. Indiscipline. So when I have no respect for the next man's time, and you end up, that's a boy, you clog up the whole traffic system. Yeah. So what a violation that takes place. Yes, what is in place within that area then? If there's no police, if you penalize that person who, mm -hmm. who, who breached that. So when you come talk about, say, boy, you escort people from one place to the next place like a joke thing. It, 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 it is ridiculous. Abuse of power. Abuse of power. It's ridiculous. Can't ridiculous no more. <laughs> I know persons who share the same view. Oh, but, but even when we talk on phone when I drive, me know say, it, 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 it is hazardous. But it needs to look on in a broader sense. Because you say an emergency call, a whole of people have to depend on their phone for even business purposes. A truck driver I drive and in boss call him for some delivery reason. Mm -hmm. Pull over on the road. Is the road it designed for that? It's not designed for that, so the system is not in place. So you impose something that practically is not even possible to be enforceable. Enforce it, yeah. So even if a man says, boy, he wants to be pull up on the roadside, he block the road the same way. Mm -hmm. So he can't take the call. The call with him daughter makes me say, boy, daddy, you know, so I say a man follow me, he's a prowl. One prowler alerts. Can't take the call. <laughs> At the same time, they say, boy, electrical device. Your car radio is an electrical device. <laughs> So when me comes a bomb and touch my car radio, me commit a crime. As a matter of fact, the vehicle itself is an electrical device. The wiper, <laughs> electricity run the wiper. <laughs> so I don't know what them really are talking about. <laughs> What's with the police officers pushing the phones in their helmet, helmet strap and talking? That's good? That's, that's... I think it's innovative. Okay. Right? It because... Looks... It's that, distracting. Yeah, but remember, I said that was back then. But them, you, have some, you have some of them still do it where I ride the bike. Them still do it, but you have headset now. No, I mean, while on road, on the road, directing traffic. Me see it too. 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 Listen, me as a man, me love how Portland I run. Know, I know. And me think things kind of secular way in a St. Thomas right now. St. Mary are going good, right? But, you know, we need to do better as citizens to protect, protect each other. Right? We need, we need to find out. Not be so selfish. We need, we, need, we, need, we need to find out what is the reason then for crime. Why some of the youth them turn to crime. Right? Why them even steer in a crime knowing say, the history has shown the boy see, crime doesn't pay. You, you know, um, one of the discussions I've had too is that there needs to be so much more social intervention. 
as it relates to intervention in the schools, intervention in the homes, to, to see if, we, as you mentioned, Let me ask a question. getting them brain Social up. intervention versus religious in intervention. Prayer. Divine intervention. Divine intervention. The, 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 we we, think about we the need party. them all. You think prayer really can help you right now? Yes, I think so. I, I believe in prayer. But I also believe strongly that coupled with the prayer, if it is that we get... You feel it's a criminal of prayer? <laughs> Maybe they do. Maybe they do. We can't tell you that nobody not believe in a prayer more than them. <laughs> and walk with their Bible more than some Christians. And lime in a pocket. Them New Testament Lime and garlic in a pocket. Yeah, but I, I think the social intervention from the youths mm. help to minimize how many of them resort or find comfort in criminality. That probably is one of the ways you to know go. That, you know that, in my opinion, a youth return to crime, it never starts off as exposure to crime. No, I think probably has experienced some form of no. Crime in my, in my opinion, up. it's not. It does start off from exposure to crime. Start off from what? Mind is idle. There again, the you're mind talking is, about the, intervention the mind, from the, well, stakeholders. The mind is idle. So right? if you get the youths occupied and preoccupied with things that are more meaningful. With things that can show... E educate and edify them, yes? And well, uplift show, them. show them a way. Not just educate. I'm not, listen. Not just educate. There I is mean, no, listen, finding ways something. and means of, of earning a livelihood and being... Criminals, being, I don't know, dunce people. Most of them aren't, right? I know. Because we, know. we, 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 we kind of... Because a man not academically smart. We think about them, 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 them dunce. No. no so, no. Uh, so all them that's, able to... That's, that's a street smart men out there. Young men out there. The system. I don't know, dunce boy them. I know. I know, I agree with you. You sit down and reason. Probably, probably them are some of the biggest reasoners right now. So, when the mind idle, wow. the mind think about so many things that are good mm -hmm. and are bad. And to how, the way how things are, mm -hmm. some youth lose hope. Some youth lose hope as to what they would really and truly want mm -hmm. in, from life. Yeah. Some people say, boy, life is good, but living can be a, you know what? Mm. Life is good, but living. Whoa. So, the way how we are pre things, overall, Zozo, zones of special, whatever. Operation. No. When they move from, hey, they're more on a checkpoint, me drive through, and all, nobody looking at my vehicle trunk. Yeah, I, I've, I've driven through. through they're not looking well. at my vehicle trunk, all. They now. look at your face and then decide, okay, go on. I, I think that's what many of them do. Profiling. Yeah. Just look at you and, okay, she, right? she looks okay. They look like decent, they look like decent, decent persons. People. Let them go. Let them go. Mm, oh boy. All but, them tired and frustrated to you But I don't think still, what, what, me, what me feel said, me not think so it's supposed to set up for inconvenience. So, so, so that is. Right? I don't think it's supposed to set up for, set up for inconvenience. No, I know right? it's not, but... Uh, so, listen, the, 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 the criminal wrong. element... Something wrong. You know, a, a whole part things, a whole part things mix up in it. A yeah. whole part things mix up in it because no for the time... The level but it's being fed from somewhere. It's being fed. You know, what I think about it, you know, when we are fair, when we are fair, yeah. we, we, we say certain things, yeah. you see me? <laughs> because we all know the level of, of, of um, convenience or some things running. Yeah. yeah. Right? Because you have, you have certain time of the year, you know, when certain events are going on, you know. I have to wonder, you know, Cassidy, if, if we have a traffic regulation, you know. <laughs> you have certain uh, time and the year when, when, when we can, certain we stick with everything when, and anything when, when certain event <laughs> are going you know me wonder if we have a proper traffic management system mm -hmm. in place I think they because go. all rules of traffic break <laughs> when certain events are going <laughs> True. Right? So men don't know if you have exemption during certain time. 
And then, you have another time when the place just hot up clean, and, and, and the roads are clean because everybody just knows, okay, Rekha, Rekha, go on, but from a day. And then it just goes dead again. I mean, I think you pick up when I talk about in a putos. I think so. I'm changing the subject. During certain time, mm -hmm. when certain activity are going on, certain things is in season, mm -hmm. it doesn't appear as if there is any rules to the road. <laughs> okay, sir. Right? You still don't pick up on me and say, don't. Mm -hmm. Well, I may I tell you. Mm -hmm. Cassidy, I have something to play, people. We more want to listen to. Um, it, 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 it is... It, it, it controversial. Is a um, um, is a blogger on social media. All right. Just before we play that, let me just say condolence to Annette. Annette from Soho in St. Thomas. She's watching on FP. She says, but a little bit sad, a whole heap sad because she lost her mom. So, uh oh, Annette, our condolence to you, my darling. Definitely, um, definitely, mommy. Go and, go and lay yourself to rest here. And of Big course, yourself, those memories will keep you afloat. They'll be, bring back some tears sometimes, I'm sure, make you feel sad. But you know what? They still also serve another purpose of keeping her alive in your heart. So please accept our deepest sympathy and be strong for the rest of the family. All right? See, the Gary said, boy, All crime, right. basically, must say crime must pay, but you have to face the consequence. Yes. One day, one day, one, one day. day. Miss Sadie locked in, Kevin in Tampa, Florida. Um, be fat. Good night to you, too. And we see Lisa, who's she gone? She's not gone nowhere. Kimo in Sunning Hill, big ups to you. And all those who are still texting in. Celia Roper, pick up yourself. Shelly. And the whole crew, Wayne and everybody over there in New York yeah. and Atlanta peeps, and, and, big and, up on yourself. And I know St. Thomas is having, we, them have the best reception right now, but we're working on that. Hopefully, we can come up with something better for now by the time the weekend for finish, mm -hmm. as we're really working on it, right? K.A. and the crew, Gary in New Jersey. Hello, Gary. How you doing, bro? All right, so we're going to be listening yeah. out now. I think, I think it's longer than the time we have left Cassidy. Don't we have three minutes left before the break? It's longer than that, right? All right. I, I think so we'll just play it after, after the, break. the break. But you see, oh, we have a call from overseas. Caller on the 954. Good evening. Welcome to Real Talk. Hello. You are on air. Cleo. Cleo. Yes, hi. Who is this? You want that root can sit down there and talk. All of them want to talk. Yeah. That little town, that little, that little town, that the important Antonio. Uh huh. From since, from since he eighteen, he eighteen. That little town, Port Antonio. It's not gonna be no better. It's already corrupt. Okay. Uh -oh. It's on itself. Corrupt. That little place, Port Antonio, it's already corrupt. So when the, you you can all talk, you all want to talk, you on that road, but you're not gonna get no better. <laughs> when the big, when the big, when the big, when the, when the big fish is in the sea, the small fish is gonna get hurt. Uh huh. So you let me tell you something now. When, when these guys, when these guys go on the Harbor Street, have the the, the, the buses them putting on them stuff and them know so that them them have them stuff to put in tomorrow morning or before the thing up. It's not gonna happen. And then another the little guy come around and try to do something and lock it down. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's stop on foolishness. But I'm told you that just like it is. It's beautiful. And it's the most top ten place in, in Jamaica now. So anybody can visit. But you don't want to tell me that the people I mean they're not corrupt. They are so corrupted. Come on. From our street right down. Talk but to you guys later. All right, my dear, where are you calling from? I think we lost him, okay. Yeah. All right, so we... Oh, well, we still have about I'll a minute. I'll have a little, bit, a little bit of time. But <laughs> may I say, the crime thing, you see, if, 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 if the youth, them mind, in my opinion, was occupied with something else, mm -hmm. I'm telling you something. You see, the, the little way where the, the man must scam, right, deliver, is almost the man must use innovation, mm -hmm. innovatively. Yeah. Right? Now, if back in the days when, 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 when you could have get certain, cer certain um, contacts then, 
or the time where it take information to move from one place to the next place. F from cellular phone come in, you know. From mobile phone come in, me think police lose or start mm. the loss of them all for off a fight crime. <laughs> so if you now move, if you now look innovatively and nothing so far, mm -hmm. them have them outline on them something which is great. But them just but barely a tap in. Just but barely a tap in into mm -hmm. criminals. Let me tell you something. It's when you have laws we have to abide by, and you have people who now abide by the law, who do you think get knocked? No. The law abiding citizen, which that include the police. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. Think about what we just said a while ago. Yeah, yeah, point taken. We're up on the 10 o'clock break. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Stick around. Thank you, Marvin. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 Good day driver You notice that you're parking in a no parking zone You know so you can get a ticket for this sir Really officer? I just want to pick up some hardware supplies you know Do me a beg you, give me a blind huh? So if you need hardware supplies Why you don't go to Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware? Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware 34 Folly Road, Port Antonio, Portland We stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town. At Ramtula's Hardware, experience the three C's, comfort, competitive prices, and convenience. Ramtula's Supercenter and Hardware opens 8 a.m. to midnight, seven days per week. Call 715-5132. Email ramtulasupercenter at gmail.com. Remember, we have the best prices in town. town. Business operators, local and overseas, this announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. Yo, this is Jatty the Reggae Ambassador. Join me alongside Jatty Jr. right here on Styles FM each and every Saturday from 1 to 5 p.m. for the Reggae Ambassador Entertainment Show. I'm going to take you on a musical ride in a yard style. Coming up, Skat, Rock Steady, and Oh Yeah, we'll rock you from old to new. Roots, culture, and in a dance hall style, Lily, Lily, Lee. I remember, each and every Saturday from 1 to 5 p.m. for the Reggae Ambassador Entertainment Show. Check it out. Right here on Styles FM. Yes. Take us to work. Take us on the go. Take us wherever you go. Styles FM. Take Styles FM with you on the go. The number for USA, 213-992-4360. That's 213-992-4360. And for the United Kingdom. 033-0010-3322. That's 033-0010-3322. Styles FM. 
native audio stage and lighting. Now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native audio stage and lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Adele Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk. Of course, you're tuned to Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. And guess what? We do have our special guests inside the house with us tonight. So we'll do the introductions, then we go to that video, well, audio that we want you to hear. So we want to welcome the Empress. Let me see if I get this name right now. Safi Fire. Sapphire. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Sapphire Fire. Oh, my God. It's yes. cute. <laughs> Pretty. Yes. Thank you. Oh, welcome to Real Talk. Thank you for having me. How are you? I'm good. I'm well. Good, 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 good. All right. So, Daddy Rude, yes. share a little bit more about the invite. Okay. Well, <laughs> uh, remember tonight we're talking about it's women's power. Mm -hmm. You know, and she has a show on Wednesday. On Wednesday. Th Thursday. Thursday. Thursday night. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, that you know she's a she's a lovely lovely powerful motivational speaker. I like the show, cool. right? Some say you know I'd like to get her perspective tonight. You know, being attacked by two strong women, <laughs> you know, it's something that I'll survive after twelve. I'll recoup. <laughs> so let's hope. Yeah, let's hope, <laughs> right? So you know, it's gonna be a lovely show, ladies and gentlemen. I think you should listen to her to her show on Thursdays. It's from nine, right? Eight from eight till eight. nine. Oh yes, eight till nine. Mm -hmm. wow. Right. She, she just comes up, bam, and chop up a piece of King Michelle time. And King said, you know what? I'm going to be the engineer of that show. Okay. <laughs> yes, so they're working it out. Oh, good. Good, right? good, good. Yes, we are. All so, right. So um, the, the, there's an audio. The, well, it's actually a video that a blogger did on, well, it's circulating all over. It's, it's controversial. But one of, the, one, of, one, of, one of the reason why I am, um, one of the reason why, I said it would be good to play that audio and the views expressed are not those, those it's stars, it? right? <laughs> Necessarily those of Native Broadcasting Network Limited. And it's not our it's not our creation. But it makes good conversation because of some some happenings. You know, everyone wants to have everyone has a right. Mm -hmm. But how far is that right? How far is it imposing and say traditional rights? Uh, and I think it's it's also something that we should think about, you know. Even Real if it, even if you don't have an opinion, it's it's something it's food for thought. And I want you to want you I want you all to listen to this. I crave your indulgence. I am sick of the trans community. The trans community are asking us to suspend our logical, rational, critical and analytical capabilities and replace them with sympathy for people who are clearly going through something mentally or neurologically. First it was transgender, a bunch of grown men asking us to call them women because they felt that way. Society played ball. They gave them operations. They made them become more feminine. They chopped off their testicles. They chopped off their penises. They gave them breast augmentations and hormone therapy. And hey presto, I'm a woman. The fact that their chromosomes clearly indicate that they are men means absolutely nothing. What matters is the way they feel. Rachel Dozel a white lady in America attempted to convince the world that she is transracial. She identifies as a black woman. She even had a position in the NAACP, the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. A white woman convinced herself and the rest of the world that she's black. And she went to work in a black organization. The fact that her genetics indicate that she's European means absolutely nothing. What matters is the way she feels. Now here comes trans age. Emil Rattleband, a 70 year old man who is now asking the court to change the date on his birth certificate because he feels more in his 40s. 
the amount of times that the Earth has orbited the Sun while he's been alive means absolutely nothing. What matters is how he feels. Now here comes trans-able. People who feel like they should have been disabled. Some of them even try to cut off their limbs and cause themselves harm just to feel disabled. The fact that they are perfectly healthy means absolutely nothing. What matters is the way they feel. Transracial, trans age, and transgender. What's next? Now, before I get called all kinds of phobics, I will say this. Every human on this planet deserves their human rights. I do not wish to kill, harm, enslave, or maim the trans community. But what I am asking is for the trans community to stop the bullshit. Because if you feel this way, that doesn't mean that we should also see you this way. I see myself as handsome. However, if I went to court to force through a motion that all that look at me should call me handsome, well, that's just plain arrogant and egotistical. I'm entitled to my feelings, as are you. But your feelings are about yourself. They should not be my concern. They are your concern. What trans people are asking us to do is to see them the way they see themselves. It's perception. And perceptions are subjective and not objective. Your perception is not our perception. And we are not obligated to call you the thing that you wish to be called. Now, what does the future look like? In my opinion, if we continue along these lines, there will be such blurred lines that we will reach the point of no return. I want us to be very careful because we are raising a generation of very smart young people. And if an adult can identify as a younger person, then the time will come when that younger person now wants to identify as an adult. And hey presto, we will have parents that are now older, or sorry, younger than their actual children. The actress Charlie Theron is raising her adopted boy as a girl. She stated that at three years old, he said to her, I'm not a boy. And bingo, she decided to raise him as a girl. Now, I would love for that child, okay, to say to his mother, at seven years old, I'm not seven, mummy, I'm 54. And see if she now wants to raise him as a 54-year-old man or woman. The lines of facts are about to become very blurred. And apparently, we, the rational thinking public, will be wrong for speaking about the descending madness. There will come a time where a grown man that identifies as a child and a child that identifies as an adult will engage in a relationship. And the words child molester and paedophilia will not be enough because they will be drowned out by I identify as, and could you use the proper pronoun? This is our future. But what do I know? I'm just some black guy on the internet. Wow. 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 That's, that's a, a whole lot to, 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 to absorb. Sub- absorb in one night. <laughs> because honestly, I was here listening and I hear, okay, transracial, I know what that is. But then me hear the trans age, me say, well, mm-hmm. <laughs> and, 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 and I know transgender, but trans age and trans able. Yep. And I'm wondering what's the, what the call, I asked that, when what they call start? the one when you really don't have any money and you should have had some money. Was that trans broke? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out. But anyways. It's absolutely ridiculous. There, the, the, there is another one. That unfortunately, I deleted oh it. Oh my goodness! Um, that we're, we're I think I, I, I broadcast <gasps> it. Maybe you even, even have it, Cass. Trans- Cass, can you find out one with the lady from Canada? Trans. Let me send it to you, man. Yeah. 
but but I think that's yeah. just a matter of so, so we could download it and, and let listeners hear it. Crazy mental state coming um, out, coming alive. I, I, here's the difference and with want me. And wanting to know. be accepted. Here is the difference with me. I I wouldn't say that they are crazy. Remember, remember when I told you that I think evolution is alive and well. Yes, I remember that. I they are think now evolving. You say this is evolution. I think this is a part of evolution. I Madness think evolving as well. I think it's a part of evolution. It's alive and well. It's just happening slow, but there's an aspect of it. But it's going on a, a path that is obviously destructive. Yeah, very. It's destructive to those of us who probably have everything else as the norm. And so later on, when this becomes a norm, what will happen to the other normal thinking ones that are left behind? When are they gone? Or we become mad then? No, we're dead and gone. Oh, we're, we no oh longer exist. Goodness. What do you take on this, though? It's a five, five. I, uh, again, it was a lot of process. Her mic is on, yes? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, that, that was a lot of process. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of new words. <laughs> <laughs> um, I haven't heard of trans age and trans able. Um, if I be honest, I, I understand the the concept of evolution, but for me, it's evolution of disorder. Yes, and chaos. Yes, and evolution is supposed to be something that brings order and balance. So it, it breeds more confusion. It removes what we know to be something, to be something else. Yes. So it's almost that they, we are being asked to reprogram, reprogram ourselves, ourselves right, to our thoughts. label a strawberry as an orange and mm -hmm. a banana as a pear. Yeah, because boys and girls are being told um, on a form, for example, mm -hmm. state if you're a boy, girl or other. Yes. In some schools. I, 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 feel, I, I feel it's breeding a disorder and it's normalizing a disorder um, that society has now... Uh, made it a common norm. It's, it's become a social norm for to have disorder and to have confusion. Confusion mm -hmm. isn't confusion anymore. It's it's acceptable reality. Whereas at one time, people would say, "I'm madness." This. Yeah. But going back to the point what you said, which is quite right, it is evolution, but it's an evolution of confusion. It's an evolution of mm -hmm. disorder. It's an evolution of unbalance and imbalance. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right, because that's how I see it. Because um, <laughs> um, I think a few weeks ago I raised a point that if we if if we recognize you have more persons coming out of the closet that they are feeling like a boy or feeling like a girl, and mm -hmm. you have um, females more more females now actually being what they would call in the lesbian community the the butch, the alpha, basically the alpha, the alpha, alpha yes. female, right? Mm -hmm. The genetics, you know, you have more persons with that genetics uh, are more just like with um, that runner girl, right? Oh, yes, right. yes, yes. So, Semenya? Semenya, Kasna. So, so, so they are, I'm, I'm thinking, then being that it is becoming more prominent, it could be a change in how biologically we are, right? So... Scary. Interesting, interesting point. Yeah. Those persons who feel feel that they are a woman, the man, the man who feels that there's a woman inside. Mm -hmm. I remember now, before you know, it would have been a gay man, right? Him, him attracted to whatever, him, him, him same sex. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now, you've never heard in them time the back there's a boy, a man say him feel like him as a woman. No, sir. Right? But no, your man has said, boy, him feel that way there. And Bruce Vincent Jenner. Also. Bruce Jenner. What? Well, that, right? That was the man that changed a woman, right? Yeah, that uh, the Kardashian mm -hmm, mm -hmm. bridge in there. <laughs> said from a long time, I saw him feel. Mm -hmm. But in my opinion, if it is evolution, science is actually trying to catalyze and altering that slow process mm -hmm. of facilitating the surgery, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which ought not to be, if it is evolution. So if we used to walk with a curly back and now we walk straight, 
you should not walk like a C by this or a backward C by this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But with the change, before, I'm an Aboriginal reason, I'm a brother, may I tell you, because I never believe Mr. brother, never, never, you would have find one dog of attraction for one foul, and we see it go on now. Mm -hmm. Something. Something's changed. It's happening. Yeah, something shifted. It's true. Hmm. It's true. Right? So many things will never find like for it, it outside of its. Right? Yeah, that must have puss and dog and then sitting there. And, and, uh, and animal, meat. humans and animals going. It, it, no, it's true. Man? Because, I mean. So you, you, you find that. You find, you, you find there's something with just something that's happening. And scientists can't put their hands on it? They, they name for touchy. <laughs> they're not for touchy and right now they're touchy but no, I mean, but 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 but, 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 but but what the bridge and say right is that it reach a point wherein everyone wants you to see them for who they are and accept them and if you don't you have, you, have, you break a law because legally are, are they might fight these things in a mm. court right and i think a lot of these things start from insensitivity remember the bullying Mm -hmm. Back in a school, everybody bullied the pitney and them laugh over the pitney because him head big, him this, him that. A lot of persons have been affected, are, are now more open for say, boy, um, I'm affected by this and as a result of you, me no longer at school. So everything when me lose out in my life are because the, that group of pitney they tease me. Them not think about the strength again and say, yo, am I obstacle that? Right? So I'm going to use that obstacle as my stepping stone. Mm -hmm. It'll only make me stronger. It now go that way there again. Because nowadays, if you walk and you, and you drop, you run gun to the arteries and say, boy, you're going to sue. To me, it's more of what wealth can bring and people finding different ways of bringing attention to themselves. The, the video we made I look for are the one with the lady in Canada. Or the man in Canada. We say him feel like him is a woman, right? Him there with, him there with woman, but him not do the sex change. So him want fig, him want no figure do waxing. Yes, so, I, so, I, I got that one. So, so him choose one. figure get the wax. I want place where the he female. Wants some, yeah. Mm -hmm. We only wax female um Can parts. Tell, yeah. Even though just down the road, one day they were wax man. Mm -hmm. And he must sue the people them because he must say it is a violation of his right yeah. because he feel like see it here, forward to Cassidy, make make a play. For for the took us. For this one dies. Right? Now them thing that me na say the man nuffy have him wax. Ooh. But if the place where we offer the service. Are we the delete it? No, the phone died. Then plug it in the man. On charger. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Right? No he has options. No somebody got impose upon you. What them feel. I'm going to tell you, say, boy, Jamaica has become tolerant. We're no longer a homophobic place. We have become so tolerant. We, 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 we know them. We talk to them. We drink with this, with that. We have become tolerant. But the next part that we are going now, how we have become, how we have become able to coexist. Let me put it that way there. Mm -hmm. Because we don't necessarily, you know, must mean so we're tolerant. Maybe me tolerant. <laughs> but let me use the word coexist. Because you can't have your neighbor. And you're you not like your neighbor. Your neighbor not like you neither. We're not tolerant of each other, but you're not coexist. Mm -hmm. You understand? Right. So let me just put it as coexist because we can't talk to nobody else. So people have become experimental. Right? Like, like, like where. Um, I think, I think uh, somebody experienced, you know, important on your two girls attack and them attack, or oh, like, look like one girl cheat on the next girl. Why, well, I may mean, I tell you. Mm -hmm. So, what exactly are values and value system? You can't look on them and say, boy, they don't have value. Because now it's all about how someone feel. And you have, to have, you have to be tolerant to somebody else's feeling. And that is where the world will go right now. You plug in the phone already? No. No. Charger? 
Mm. That was to play important because like, I want the people to understand. All right, because well. when we when we there fight crime and them sitting now, some of us sitting now going out there. We well, eventually oh, because we in a Jamaica easily fit adapt some something. Because you have a Jamaican brethren right now, we apparently successful, and you do him change. Oh God! You do him change overseas and come back a yard. But there was a time where you wouldn't see two men come by back. You, you wouldn't see two men come by. Yeah. Back. Very casually. Close up, Pani Yang Yang. Close up, Pani Yang Yang. Right? So, not for them the thing that we are going right now, right, is tolerance. Or do you think we're just adapting to what is becoming a social norm? Because you see, this behavior is all social norms now. A social norm. Everything. Right. It's, it's, it's social norm. That the female acting masculine, the male acting feminine, man of you know, but, the but type pants. Well, well, me oh, feels that, well, as I said, my view, apart from the social norm, me feels that it's part of evolution and we have to just embrace evolution. Yeah, but what are we evolving to? That's confusion. No. Well, it can't it's imbalance. It, well, well, it confuses into way, but me feel say, me might not live for it, I mean, no, because of evolution work. Me feel say, eventually, because we, we live, Earth is a surviving capsule. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When you chop off one tree limb, you know, see, where you chop, stop growing, but it's a push out somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Right? Just like with a must frog. Frog figure out a way how they can mate, the female they must can mate and produce. Right? Mm -hmm. So, you find, say, eventually, in my view, you might find, say, whatever happened in the system, Woman and woman might start reproduce. Are yeah. we there going? God forbid. No, no, you can't answer that. God forbid. No, you can't answer that. Then all they make. Well, I know a man, the, the, a mother and no, father. No, that well, I know. I've grown and yeah, been but accustomed I can't, God to forbid. will be the only norm I'm going to ever accept. So we're trying to. Hold on, hold on, we're trying to. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Two men can produce too. Hold on, hold on, I'm going to reach out to you, my girl. I know you would reach there. I knew you would reach there. No, man, more and stop, more and stop right when we stop, man. More and stop when we stop. He's never going to reach there, can I tell you? What's up? But if, if well, he were to go well, to that no, no, point yeah, of two clear. women, yeah. then we ought clear. to explore now the other option yeah. because well, you're not going to stop no, where man. you choose to stop. Clear. So you've evolved <laughs> to where you choose to stop evolving. Well, That's not going to work. <laughs> yeah. Evolution yeah. stop right there. You've got to go all the way to the clear. evolution the process, brother. Mm. Well, Anna, listen, I'm, 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 I'm going to explain God why. forbid that me, too. Let me, me explain why I'm going to stop this. But I'm say, me can't say God forbid because guess what? A God make If once you believe in the Bible, and say, boy, God make me and you, and God make them too. So I'm not going to say, God forbid. But when me I look at and say, you're more fine, say, so even, I, I, me, I, I me hardly see, well, I've never seen, without makeup, a male looking like a female. But You've I've never seen. seen without makeup? Yes. You've never seen a male There's plenty, there's like plenty men out there that look like women. Uh, of course you've seen. I've seen, seen men. Actually, I've seen men that look smoothed up and run up like mm. a woman. I've seen, no, I've seen no, it. Tell, Especially with these tight pants. That's because you ain't looking at no man, brother. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But, but, hold on. but I've seen a number of female who look Mas mas masculine. <laughs> right. Yes. No, women. Because you're looking at the women. See, well, that's the thing with him knowing. He well, admires the women. You see? You're so you're looking at the men. Women. See? <laughs> see? No, well, I'm not. there's a difference, you know. Where a man, I say, well, I say without makeup, so I have a count all the one and we put in all the, them shaved and your eyebrows, you know, and then put in them ears ring, you know. Mm -hmm. me, me not talk about them one day. Mm -mm. Yeah, women, men will look like women, you right? Do, yes. Me no know. From back ways, you're, you're like. Burr. Yeah. But, uh, you see, you wouldn't know, but we would admire the men from like every angle, mm -hmm. so we will see yeah. them. But even if that is even if that is the case, right? The what them said the, the woman with, with the male hormone, what them say? High high what? High, um, testosterone. High testosterone, like mm -hmm. like Casta Semenya. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I and I it may I say there might be that point where in such have or whoever have enough. In a if they do their thing, something go on. But, but, but why does it have to be evolution? Couldn't it be a case where one just gets more hormones than the, the average male does? The average woman gets more of the male hormones? Because no, there are extra no, it's, it's, to every rule, it's, no? It's, it's, it's just a theory. It's just a theory. My theory is that <laughs> me feel say, a evolution. Right? Me just feel say, boy, there's something happening. 
in, in a course that I did, as, as I've always probably mentioned. My girl, you know what's man losing woman to woman right now? You know how much I And you know how many women losing their man, man to man? Yeah. Why men are you know? Yeah. May I tell you? I tell you too. Wives lose their husbands <laughs> to men. Yeah. Sad to say yeah. when it happens. Yeah. But I think one of the issues though is that it has been happening for a while. It's just that it's more, it has become more tolerant and common, now, yes. and people are now and then with, more expressing and, and, and then, their feelings. And, 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 and then with the phone thing. Where your phone reach, Cleo? Um, 1%, 1%, sir. 1%, sir. You can't say Most can't tell them. 1% is a percent, you know. It's just one of our. I just think we have always had it. Just never knew until it became so publicized, where men feel like women and women feel like men, and because I've heard of cases where young men believe that no, they were clear, actually man. they were actually born women mm. because of how they feel inside, and people will bash them and say, "Oh, them this and them that," but they do have that feeling. I've seen kids from primary school acting, sounding a certain way, and you're like. Oh, this is an evolution, that man. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure about the evolution, but um, the time is now. <laughs> yeah. the, the time is now 10:30. Um, the time, time is brought, brought to us by VJ Printing, Printing Services, Services, and Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Stick, We're so forward. Stick around. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 Holy golly! <laughs> Your Saturdays will never be the same again! 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Styles FM! Get of the showdown, social commentary, to no, one tune. No, 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 no ice cream sound. Good morning, teacher, love time. He edge your love with a love song. All happening. Let them touch your soul. Between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. on the People Station, Styles FM, 96.1, 96.5, 96.7, only the smooth sailing. With Colin Anthony, shotgun to the pain. One of the things I've been done, one of the things I've been done, Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. What a Wednesday it's gonna be a September to remember on the Caravan of Love show this Wednesday, September 25th. It's history in the making. Chungy will be there. Black of Pearl, the teacher Colin Anthony, Smooth It Boss DJ Prestige, Well Easy General DJ Mookie, and many more from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Ladies, take the day off. Call in sick this Wednesday. It's gonna be a September to remember. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook. Styles FM 96.1. Planning a party, club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. 
Solo, Styles FM, for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, we are tuned, you are tuned to Real Talk with Daddy Rude and yours truly, Lady Cleo. And of course, we do have Sapphire Fire in house with us. And one of our listeners, who I just learned that he... He happens to be Donald. <laughs> yeah, man, the, the comical brother who talks consciousness. Yeah, well, uh, right? Leave the phone alone. Yes. Because uh-huh. you turn on the phone and I turn off the phone at the same time. <laughs> so <laughs> now the phone is going to go on. You see, it's not going to stay on. No, man. Right, so we're having a deep, deep discussion here. And of course, not Daddy Rude, but UL Jackson believes that evolution is taking. Yes, you're a tripolar, I know. Um, <laughs> believes strongly that evolution is what is happening, where we're seeing all the changes in the way men feel like women and women feel like men, and all this um, trans age and trans able and transgender and transracial changes that people are talking about. He believes it's evolution that's causing all of this. Yes. But that's his theory. And thank God it's only his theory. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. We'll of course, some, we'll we are going to see what our peeps on, on, the yep, on the WhatsApp connection is saying. So we go first up with our friend, Heart of Love, brethren, Miss Cleo, Heart of Love. I truly miss my star's family. All right. Don't believe everything you think. The mind creates its own illusions by linking thoughts that share no connection. To the queen empress in the house. Safai, fire that is, yeah. I am ready to go more than two years. What about the indefinite? Oh, that's about yesterday. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, wonderful. Um, Heart of love, beloved too, plus the queen. Mental slavery is the worst form of slavery. It gives you the illusion of freedom, makes you trust love and defend your oppressor while making an enemy of those who are trying to free you. Or open your eyes. All right. Bless up yourself, heart of love. Well said. All right. Let's see what the other messages are that have come in. And we go now to 598. Send us your name, please. All right. If you believe it's evolution, you're just as mad as them. I told you. I told you. I've told Let's you. Let's see. Sadie's online as well. Hey, Sadie. Good night to you. Then for drop state of emergency, she says, like a bomb, not working and drop it everywhere one time. And then we'll get result. Oh. I guess she says all over the island. Yeah. Yes. Okay, that's kind of be gotta be crazy. Um, Thursday night, girl, go back to that Cassidy, please. Sadie, mm-hmm. Sadie, Sadie, Sadie. All right. Um, Thursday night, girl. All right, she's hailing you up as well. Lovely oh. woman. Oh, thank you. Real talk, Daddy Road. Woman, I take care of woman better than man. A data guan and them jealous. That man, real talk. Good God. That's true. They are very mm, much mm, jealous. Mm, mm, mm. And the men on the other side are, also, you won't want to hear about that part, but they're very jealous too. Yeah. <laughs> Breathe easy. Breathe easy, brother. <laughs> so Nova, <laughs> Nova in Illinois says, good night to you, Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. She's locked in. Great to know. Keep it locked, all right? And of it, course, really Donald is... <clears throat> Donald is also locked in because he's right in studio, right, Donald? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kimoa in Sunning Hill. Let's see what Kimoa is saying. Cassidy. All right. Bless up, Mom Sharon. Okay. Locked into Real Talk via starsfm.com. Great to know. Big up. Hello, y'all on social media locked in. All right. So. Yeah. We're going to go to our... Well, right. just before we, we just go want into... Cassidy, Cassidy Did you get it? it? Did it, you it, get it, Cassidy? It, it's not All right, it's so not he's going to be playing that one. I think there's one. one about a hundred years thing. I think a Kevin from Tampa. Kevin, is, is it mommy or grandma? Something. Someone, yeah. That is. It's, she's a um, hundred years old today, I believe. So Big Centurion, Centurion right there. Big ups to you. And I hope she lives to see a couple more great ones. All right. All right, Raquel locked in from Pallet St. Thomas. Kevin in Tampa, Florida locked in. Kevin says, yes, Miss Cleo. Take off the miss, please. I understand what you're saying, but only things seem to have some, only some things, I guess, seem to have impact. 
To me, it's a mind game playing with a criminal. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday to my grandmother, he says. Ina Wallace from Buckner, Mapen Clarendon, live yep. in, she lives in New York, and she's 100 years old. Uh -oh. Wow. Nice, That's excellent. Nice, she's nice, surviving nice, in New nice, York nice. at 100. Yep. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's wonderful. We need to with her and see if she not agree with me, say, evolution. Well, um, she might give me a, no, but you're right. She, she might give me a tub over my head, yeah. Madness, madness, madness. <laughs> but it is, it's an evolution of madness. Yes. Of madness. That's what it is. Evolution of the mind. And, and, and they've play, tried um, everything else, so that, that's the only way to go now. Hey? But, but, but remember, you know, mm. this is not about um, the, 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 the LGB community. Mm -hmm. This is about the trans community. Okay. Right? Listen to this one. A transgender person in Canada forced an immigrant woman to close down her business after the immigrant woman declined to wax the testicles of the transgender person, and he sued her for it. Yeah, you heard that correctly. A transgender woman, that is a person born a man who identifies now as a woman, is trying to use the law to force a woman in Canada to touch his testicles even though she doesn't want to. She couldn't afford to fight the lawsuit, so she had to shut down her business. Here are the facts of this story. This transgender person, whose name is Jessica Yaniv, was born a biological man and now identifies as a woman. But this person still has male genitalia. And he is attracted to women. He calls himself a, quote, proud lesbian. Now, waxing male genitalia and waxing female genitalia are two very different things that require different skill sets. Most waxing boutiques do Brazilian waxing for women only. You can Google the waxing places in your area and you can see this for yourself. These 15 Canadian estheticians Yanov is suing do Brazilian and bikini waxes for women only. But the radical left has told us that transgender women aren't transgender women, they are real women, even if they were born male and have male genitalia, like Jessica Yaniv. And so Yaniv is claiming these estheticians are violating his human rights by refusing to wax his testicles, even though there's another waxing boutique nearby that specializes in male waxing. He doesn't want to go to that one. No, no. This transgender person wants to legally compel women to touch his testicles even though they don't want to. Feminists, hello. Talk about the handmaid's tale. These leftists want the government to declare it is a human right for a man to force a woman to do something to his genitals that she doesn't want to do. But feminists are silent. People, this is the transgender ideology that we have warned about. It's not about tolerance. It's not about compassion for people suffering from gender dysphoria. It's not about including transgender people in society. It's not about stopping bullying, all of which are fine things. The transgender movement is a political force that will mandate that you violate your religious beliefs, violate your personal views, violate your workplace, your skill set, and dictate that you reject basic biology under penalty of the law, or else you'll be sued and forced to shut down your business and socially ostracized. Don't that say is we didn't. ultimately pathetic. Well, she won the lawsuit, or he won the lawsuit. No, no, just to have yeah, the only because she couldn't defend herself. Yeah, only because she couldn't defend herself. That's crazy. And the system there in Canada oh allowed God. her, or didn't, or, or didn't facilitate the businesswoman the opportunity to defend herself. So all that family lost income that she mm -hmm. employs, lost income, lost food lost everything that they would have normally depend mm. on because the system there allowed the woman her rights to be violated. Mm -hmm. So where are we going? Madness or evolution? Which is it? Madness. It's an evolution of madness. Okay. I'm not, I'm, I'm not <laughs> shifting from that. I'm sorry. Totally. <laughs> All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, that thank was you so much we got for... Beyond, it was really, really, really... Um, I sparked, Informative. I, in, I, I ignited your fire tonight on that note because my, my opening comment led you down this path you know, and you evolved. I, <laughs> I, want, I wanted earlier to commend you on your necklace, but I think I'm going to change my mind. You didn't spark anything. You give me a compliment already. I'm not giving it back. <laughs> it's mine. Thank you, sir. I like my necklace, too. <laughs> All right. So, we're All gonna, right, we're so gonna guys, go we're going to go into our very interesting Vox Pop tonight. Yes. It's great to have Donald in studio because I know Donald has a lot to say on this topic. All right. I know he has the experience with the ladies. 
can I safely say that, Lord? <laughs> Without him getting locked out tonight. <laughs> and I'm sure Daddy Rude, who has Me. had many experiences riding off the hill without brakes on his bicycle mm -hmm. the first time. Yeah, almost catching the house on fire with those candles. Mm -hmm. Oh, from mm -hmm. the cheese tricks in the navel to... God, he knows how many other stories. <laughs> I know he has a wealth of experience as well, and not to mention the silent one, Cassidy. So, of course... Um, but tonight is really all about the ladies. We have the least experience in the room, so we, we are here to learn. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> we are here to learn um, on that note. There it is. Oh, it's up I there. Yeah, they're looking yeah, for it. I'm looking for it. Can I tell you? So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, with the Vox Pop concept for tonight. Please feel free to share. Again, I remind you of the local numbers. Local, local number, it's 876-453-1444. And the overseas line is 954-338-7973. Here we go. Understanding women. Can you explain in simple terms how to please a woman? Is it that a woman's expectation of a man is too high? Yep. The reason why they are often disappointed? Yep. Explain. Explain your view. Part two says, women are naturally engraved with survival instincts. But what should more, what should more emphasis be placed on? relationship career or starting a family so of course you know women we know how to survive right do jobs here there just by whatever means possible a woman will survive worse if she has children she will survive those instincts will come alive mm -hmm. but the question is what do you think a woman the average woman should more place her attention on is it a relationship is that where her greatest emphasis should be placed so that as she gets older she has a companion someone to with, with whom she can share her life or should she ensure that her emphasis is on gaining this career becoming this professional where she can either either, either have her own business or be so gainfully employed that she can get just about any job she wants yeah should she be more career driven or should she pause for a moment put that career aside girl go start your family and as we say in jamaica start your family get two babies get five babies get married something i don't know yeah which of those do you think the woman should ensure that she places the greatest emphasis on and i would love to hear from the men tonight and i hope that the men's views will not be selfish because you do have men who will say mm, boy career thing can't say me take care of shouldn't have to work <laughs> <laughs> Sounds selfish, doesn't it? Right? So, we want to hear your ideas. We're going to dissect it, synthesize, put it back together, and see what we got come of it tonight. All right? Hmm. So, part, part one, again, understanding women, can you explain in simple terms how to please a woman? Donald! Yeah, <laughs> I know you would say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but honestly, I On can't a please a woman. You might can't please her entirely, but uh, at some she can please her in some ways. Mm -mm. You mean no? <laughs> no, we at all. You mean done all? Yeah, for just rock with her, man, and rock with her program, man. Trust me, you can't please her. That's no, not fair, uh, no, is no, it? All right. <laughs> honestly, honestly, I. That's done all. I, that's done all. All right. If you if you are look on the whole relationship thing, right, and you're going to look on the sexual part of it as mm -hmm. as pleasing, yes. And remember, no women have a way of, of behaving like they're pleased when they're not, not pleased. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, that's not that's out of a thing. But um, honestly, I I think you just rock with the woman, and you know? if she's in that mood, you you try to make sure that she's all right in that mood. 
And if she's in another mood, you try to fix it in, a, in a the best way possible. But so you just I, adjust and evolve yeah, yourself to suit simple, her? To suit, oh, the to time suit, is right. to make sure so okay. everything is good. But you can't please a woman. Honestly. But it, if, that's my view. But yeah. if you adjust yourself, Donald, right. to, to suit whatever mood she might be in, then ultimately, aren't you pleasing her, in essence, then? Um, I wouldn't say... All right. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't say, yeah, please her in the sense that maybe she wants to be pleasing. You know? oh. But she feel good for no say her man and her rock with her in other aspect okay. there. So the problems don't really start or come on and all of them things there. <laughs> okay. But... Some women, some women can't hide them emotions and them feelings that you feel more or less say, yeah, please them, and it not happen, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. But then there are women, too, who would be verbose enough to say, hey, I don't appreciate this, or I don't like this, I don't want this. Some of them might come across in a very subtle way and openly tell you, while some might pick a quarrel about it. Right. But and, shouldn't a man be sensitive to the... To the, to the fact that, okay, if she's n- nagging about this particular issue, then maybe it's a bother for her, so try to adjust it. And it's the same thing we were talking about driving in from Kingston, mm-hmm. compatibility. Mm-hmm. People have to be compatible with each other. Right. If you're not compatible with each other, you're not going to please nobody across the board. Mm. You understand? Yeah. And God of the day, the Miggle, I too, remember me tell you that talk. a yeah. couple of shows ago. God of the day, the Miggle. So if him not in the Miggle, I want to come compatible together who are please who hmm. yes and mm. it's as simple as that but in a my thing I mean a thing I mean I go try for please oh man <laughs> <laughs> let's rock with it ah, let's, let's rock, rock with it, it. Yeah. what's your take on that though do you think that it's um we are no, hard no. to please ask her the question the question <laughs> the question on the vox pop yes I'm asking the what, question what what what, what Please, a woman, find it that see that. Can you explain in simple terms? Because, yeah, how to please. Yeah, because we know it's not simple, but can you explain in simple terms how to please a woman? Yes, it's easy. <laughs> She'll explain first. I don't remember not about how to tell. No, no, wait, if it's so I, easy, I, I, you, I, 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 you not, explain. <laughs> 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 because I'm here and I'm saying, all right. Uh, me personally, I think I'm quite easy to please. And we're not talking necessarily but about then, um, pleasure, sexual yeah, pleasure. No, no, no. Right? We're, we're talking, talking about, about the please. Yes, yeah. Yeah. pleasing. Um, I, f- me personally, I think I'm easy to please, but then I do have high standards. And I'm not afraid to admit that. Right. And high standards in the fact that um, I seek a man that can recognize my energy, that can recognize my mental capacity in the fact that I want someone to feed me, to make me grow. It's yeah, not just right. about sex and money right. and taking and me out. And not be intimidated but by can, me. Do you know when I'm not on a good vibration? Can you feel when, me, when I'm vibrating low? You know, those things for me is imperative. Mm-hmm. And I, I think that's maybe why I struggle to find um, the, the, the compatible king because the, the average man out there is like, well, we might have some money, we can look about you, and we take you out, so what's the problem? And, you know, yeah. int- the intimacy is all right, so, so, so mm. we are quarrelable. They <laughs> make you good sex. So yes. you yeah. Yeah. And for me, that's very that low standard. That, that's a very minimum People, <laughs> that are just standard. Shipped in. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, all right, for women, and I, I, I hope I'm representing <laughs> the female community correctly, you know, we are very easy to please in the fact that treat us good, make us feel valued, appreciate us, mm-hmm. give us a little affection when we need it. We're females, so we need that. Definitely. Every, everything else comes off of that. But as soon as we feel underappreciated, as soon as we feel that we're not feeling like a, you know, you don't make me feel like a woman. You don't right, make me yeah. feel sexy and attractive. And, and like the only woman that there is. Yes. She wants to feel that. Yes. We want to feel that, even though we know it's not the case. We want to feel like there is no other woman like me. Yes. And with men, it's like <laughs> once they have you, it's like, but you're normal, love you, and you're not so young. Yeah. And it's like, well, actually, no, I want to feel it. I want to know every day. I want to feel every Thank day you. that I'm your number oh, one. praise Jesus. Thanks for coming. Gosh, you know, you. so Thank I don't know. <laughs> I, I feel that men are quite hard to please because they don't really know what they want. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> exactly. They want it all. They want it all. Yeah. They, don't they want you to be about real. 10 women, including yeah. their mother and their grandmother. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that in itself is, can be very hard to live up to. True. Real talk. You see? Real talk. Smart choice tonight. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, and, and just to add, just to add, as she said, women, for the most part, are sensitive mm-hmm. 
and we can be emotional too some mm-hmm. will show more emotions than others some will cry about something some might just go puffed up about the same thing mm-hmm. you know but we want to know that even if and as i said i've said it um, um just now but i know that there are women who feel that way even if there's another woman out there and she knows it's in the back of her head that he just might be seeing somebody else the way he makes her feel as a woman in that relationship will be the determining factor to whether she stays and does everything to make him happy Very or true. whether she goes yes because i know at least one person who says she ain't going anywhere because of how the man Make treats her. So mm-hmm. could I have a woman look more. Oh how she feels as a woman is how she wants to be um, to, to, to feel or want to be treated. So she's going to stick with him. So the man who is smart will understand that, hey, wife at home or girlfriend at home um, might do road enough. You, know, you will never tell her that. But the way you treat her at home, mm-hmm. She's not going anywhere. True. So make yes, Donald. So make her feel, <laughs> make her feel Donald, appreciated. You know what trick talk? That's right. No, it's <laughs> true. Donald, you know, not, not no, gossip, it's true. Right? It is Donald, true. Like I said, yeah, you know there are women who will know really, that she's she really yes. in it. For, 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 and she ain't going. For yes. There are some who might suspect. She mm-hmm. sees nothing, but she suspects it. Mm-hmm. But again, when she thinks about, and I'm should not I? No, no, no. Should I go? And this man treats me so good mm-hmm. because he has another I woman, or well. should I? Not me, no. Sh- you know, should I go not knowing what I'm going to go no, out right. there she's, to She's meet? real. What she's saying is real. But, 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 but let me ask this question based off what you said. Is that the same for all women? No. Of course not. No. All right. No, but so, what I'm saying is so, so, what so, so the no. determining factor that makes them decide whether they should go or not is really and truly the comfort that, that you feeling give them. yes yes i am that, that part can she be might because some kick up rumpus however, you know however <laughs> carry on some of them but yes. however ain't going nowhere however you have to ask the question when a woman have that feeling mm. right despite what a man do for her making her comfortable all the things I believe just the mere fact that, in my opinion, women are competitive beings. Mm-hmm. That is the main reason why the eruption is there. But that's, that's needless to say. No, what do you mean? No. No, go, fin- finish. No, what what, what else? No, I need to. No, come on, my ear. And, and that's what you're saying. No, no, right. finish up. What, what, what right. are you saying? No. Worse if it's good, if it's right. a good man. All right, exactly. That's understandable, though. Because, because, because we have done the show so many times, right? That's understandable. And we, and we discuss it and say, look, mm. you get in a Mercedes, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> she likes that Ford. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Can, is it okay for the woman on the side? She's a Mercedes. Uh uh. What are you doing? Forget. <laughs> A Mercedes. It's a ladder. Right? Nothing at all for that matter. So what you're saying? Right. The wife gets well, a Mercedes and then so, the... So, so, so I remember... It's a Mercedes m- m- too. Okay, and, 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 and do you remember the flat TV versus the big back TV? Jesus. What right? Is? Me to carry that... <laughs> no, you can't see. <laughs> no, you see Donald. <laughs> Donald. So, you see? Why if you get a flat... Screen? Let's put this way. Why if you get a curved screen? A curve, curve TV. I made her get, I made her get a flat screen LCD. Just let me know about it. Right? You will get a 60 inch and she'll get a 45 it. inch TV. I just don't want to know right? about it. Is that okay? No, it's not okay. But no, but, but why, why, why are we going there? What, what, what are no, you trying to say? No, because of what she said earlier. The, the woman is getting all the treatment and everything is good at home and she says she's not going to leave. And I'm saying, is that the same okay. for all, all women? Yeah, but I'm saying the average one doesn't want to know that this is happening out there. Yeah, I mean, she's no. not gonna no, appreciate but that. No. Like Donald said, she no, doesn't, you doesn't said, want to be sharing. You said there's no. a sus- even there, even though there's a suspicion. Yes, but that's, that's all it is. She has no b- basis on which to prove that this all man right. is with so, another woman. So, so, so why is it necessary to be absorbing a suspicion, a notion? 
we are women. But that's the, that goes to instinct, isn't it? Yes, instinctive. Mm. It's just like the man, them know say the woman is playing away, but the way the woman treats you and the way she put it down on you, you can't lift her. Yes, no, it's a CMT. Drop it on you like it's hot. We're gone, 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 we're we're gone, 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 we're Lie. 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 Going back. Lie. 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 No. Listen. Going back. Lie. Mr. Menna, go back. Mr. Yedede. No. Listen. Yeah. And Lakeisha. Margaret. I told you. Wealth of experience. Listen. My view. My, my view in terms of where pleasing a woman is concerned. Mm. Me not see it. You can do something for them that's fine now. Mm-hmm. A moment later. A moment? A moment later. <laughs> <laughs> right? Not even Listen, a week. A moment. We are. Me, 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 get it, me get it almost every time me and my moms so kick back. Feel like we're trans Boy, trans my trans husband, mood. I love you, see? Me love you. <laughs> me say, my girl, listen to me. No bother with that. Me know I love me right now, you know. Because me know say the next five minutes, if me don't sit there, you're going to cuss me. See him, so. Five I minutes pass. I can love you and cuss you. Five minutes pass, Papa. Me I get cussed for something. <laughs> <laughs> something say, so me at that, but put us. Yeah. No, no bother come to me and say, boy, you're glad. Say, the, the place, this, that, and the place clean up. And me go do this, and me call, and say, boy, you want this, and all of those nice stuff that, in my opinion, would please a woman. Mm -hmm. yeah. When me reach home now, and me walk in the house like a muddy foot. Me still carry this up, you know. <laughs> but my shoes. Yeah, if you take off your shoes. I can't please him. <laughs> yeah, but no, okay, but why does that why why does it have to come down not to pleasing? Um we could be pleased, but we just want you to take off your shoes before you come in the house. And, and then you know that. So why not just do it before you come in, yeah. the, shoes, come in the house with your shoes on? Yeah, the but, shoes. yeah, but at the same time, you know, listen. They're provocative too, you know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when the things with spite on the yes. You see? But, see? <laughs> ah, them so on. The time is now 11 p.m., ladies and gen gentlemen. Um, it <laughs> time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. Thank you very He's much. still evolving, I know. <laughs> and Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and, and lighting. lighting. Stick around, guys. <laughs> The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Business operators, local and overseas, this announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent, seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car or having a garage sale? Then come see us. Let Styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Advertising Style. Advertise with Styles. 
Niger Prince just touched down in at the airport. A royal day to everyone. It's Chungi with the voice of DJ Prince. Your royalty of music selection. Represented for my show, your show, Detour. Every Saturday night from 8 p.m. to 12 midnight. With mixed moves and attitudes. And ladies, don't forget the special Detour hour from 11 to 12 midnight. Styles FM, the world listens. You just gotta tune in. Mm-hmm. Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518-2399. To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399. 518-2399. Don't forget, 518-2399. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk. Super interesting off-air conversation. Can I tell you? But I yeah. can't share that one with you. All right. So we get back to our normal programming, guys. And of course, we're talking about us women, the most beautiful species on the earth. Yeah. We work with that. <laughs> You're better. <laughs> the other option ain't the other one ain't, a, uh, ain't an option <laughs> so can you explain in simple terms how to please a woman I'd love for my brothers out there in Radio Land to call in to share how it is that they have mastered that if they have like Marvin in Texas and all them people there Dan Dan and yeah man all the, the, the male brethren who call in from time to time Donald you says see, it can be pleased. I think what makes it difficult but is, is, is the, the mood swing that women have. You, you think that we are um, bipolar? More than my tripolar. I don't think women are more bipolar than men are, do you? No, listen, we are one track. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> listen, no, that's, that's all right. Listen, <laughs> remember, you know, the mood of a woman is like it, it changes with circumstance. And some of the times, those circumstances, we don't even know what it is. But then if right? you understand... But, well, but, there's, but women expect us, like you're going to go that way, if you understand the woman... No, no, if you understand that women go through so many different changes, physically, psychologically, even at the end... Not no mental. No. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we go through post, pre and post menstrual syndrome. And yeah, but that's the norm. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but you, men have moods as well. Exactly. Men if, are more moody than women. No, once we come in here, so we face makeup, we're hungry. We're hungry. See, food for something. dead there. Right? <laughs> I'm from food dead, we're good. <laughs> we have a caller. I'm not feeling belly, you know. Caller on the 954. Good night, <laughs> caller. Welcome to Real Talk. <laughs> Good night, Cleo. How you doing? Hi, Marvin. What's up, my brother? When I hear so good, We're Marvin. We're not hearing you clearly at all, Marvin. A little bit more. Okay. Now I'm saying I I I agree somewhat with that with what that is saying. Papa Marvin, when I hear your good brother. So you can't turn him off. Oh, you you hear me now? You hear me now? A little better. Oh, a little better. Go ahead. No, what I'm saying is, I, I kind of agree with what that rule says, but at the, same, at the same time, if you know that your wife is going to be a fan because you're wearing shoes in the house, why would you wear it? Not getting enough. Not getting enough. Yeah, you hear me now? You hear me now? Yes. I just come out of the no, I was saying, I, don't, I can't argue with what that is saying. But at the same point, if you know your wife will get mad because they're wearing shoes in the house, why would you wear it? Mm-hmm. Right. Ma. And, and, just, I, I know people, they go through the different, the different oh. changes, and one minute them happy, and the next couple seconds, they find something to fuss about. Mm-hmm. But, 
And if they're poor, I like to just give them their peace. Like, if they're mad about something, I just, okay, hold my corner door, maybe I'm going the road or mm-hmm. find something to do until I know she calms down, then I come back and try to talk to her. Okay. And that works, now, don't it? Yeah. Now, with my wife being her strong, strong personality, and me have a strong personality, yeah, sometimes we go head to head, yeah. I hear sometimes it may be over some silly stuff, but more time, I just have to say, you know what? If you your mad, so I guess I'll just literally be for whenever, whenever, and then I guess when you feel like talking, we will talk. Mm-hmm. Even though I like to argue with her sometimes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that, they're rude. You know, <laughs> like, okay, I know if I do this, she's going to be mad, but I do it anyway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 But it's, Men are the complex it's, ones. It's, sometimes it's just to get on our nerves, so to speak. You understand? What's that nice? Yes. <laughs> just, like, just, like, just, like, <laughs> just like her, right? I, she know I hate it when she drives the car and wait until the car, the gas will come on, then she want to put gas in it. <laughs> or she want to bring it up like, oh, man, I forgot to put gas in the car, but the light is on. <laughs> Why did she just put gas? You pass how much gas station before you get home? Why did she just stop put gas in the car before you get home? <laughs> you know, Complex. Get home, like, oh, I forgot to put gas in the car and the light is on. It's like that's that that always me. And it's something she always do. I don't know. Sometimes she do it out of spite to get on my skin. You understand? Uh huh. So it, I, I, it, I guess it does go both ways. Sometimes females just talk to piss guys off, and sometimes guys do talk to up the females. But but you think that somehow women can be pleased though? Do you share that view? I think I think they can. Uh-huh. Some of us just try 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 to you know what I mean make it seem like they can. But I I think I think they can. I really think they do. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Marvin. But how, Marvin? How? Listen. Uh, oh. Yes. yes. <laughs> they, they can they can be pleased enough because remember. It's not every female out there, it would take a lot to make them happy. Mm-hmm. True. You know, I understand. Mm-hmm. You, you're, there are females out there that it's just the little things that you do. That's that right. will make them happy. Uh, and, well said. and as you said that, Marvin, it, it came to mind that based on a woman will be happy based on her priorities. And if she values certain things more than other things, then depending on what you bring to the table, it will determine how happy she is. So if it is that you know that this particular woman loves fancy cars and all the expensive jewelry and blah, 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 that keeps her smiling and you're not able to facilitate that, Mm -hmm. then you ought to take for yourself. (laughs) Yeah. And, 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 And be with, find somebody who shares a similar kind of happy state with yourself. Compatibility. Right. Again, yeah, it boils down to compatibility. Yeah, that's why you have to get to know what you're getting into before you get that's into, right. too deep into it. Mm-hmm. Right. Because if you can only afford simple, simple things in life and she wants the fancier stuff, then she's not going to be a problem. Yeah. Exactly. She's not for you. She's not for you. So men okay. have to also choose that when they're selecting or trying to find a woman that they can be happy themselves with mm-hmm. or to even make happy. They have to consider those things because sometimes some of them are very superly ambitious. They want to go to the okay. iPhone girls who every head turn to look at them a second time, yeah? And that's the one they want to know, be, but they can't maintain. Then she becomes miserable. We are collectors. You know, you know every, female, every female like it when a guy just randomly texts them, hey, don't check them on your idea, go in, sending them a little gift at work, little flowers. Yes, yes, yes. Some yes. don't like it. Lunch and stuff like that. Yes. You know, a female like that. And some don't. <laughs> yeah, well, like that, those and that's true. Some will think that you know, can't give me no space. I want to breathe. Really? You know, yeah, yeah, women don't believe that. You get flowers at work. So and you want space? No, like call, call, checking up on her. Yeah, I'm doing? not. Yeah, don't yeah. call. Don't Some call, women call, just call. don't want. If you do it once in a blue moon, every now and again, mm. or a nice text message, something sexy, and she'll when be I fine. Call, what? But then when she, when you don't call, to, sometimes them say, "Well, I'm not in God with you know." I not call me today. <laughs> yes, I don't know. You just, you, it's you just have to it's know true. the kind of woman you're with. True. You know, <laughs> and um, know how to appreciate the little she does. For me, I'm 
easily pleased, despite <laughs> what my co-host may think. <laughs> <laughs> that, that road, you know, you know, I find that hard to see coming from Claire. What was that? Thank, what thank, was that, Marvin? Thank you, Marvin. I'm what? I think Claire is very hard to please. Thank you, Marvin. What I guess it's a Marvin. I, I Marvin. I could be wrong, but I think Claire. Marvin. Is the type of what make you like think so? Marvin, I can, I can, gi I can give Claire. I, I can. <laughs> 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 Clear, clear, she's by the top of female. Uh -huh. Give her like an ice cement. Oh, no, 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 no. Marvin, you got to dispel that notion right now in the name of Jesus. <laughs> no, no, no. Cleo is the kind of girl who, if you come home, Donald, if you come home and surprise me with an ice cement, I'm like, oh my God, thank you. I wasn't expecting any ice that sounds hypocrite. No, it's true. No, no, it's true. No, it's true. It might sound so no because I'm a, a role play, but seriously. No, Donald, me very, very appreciative. Um, not hey. Donald, Marvin. Cleo is very, very appreciative of the very small things. You see the word surprise? No matter how small it is. I really do love surprises. That would tell them. When you brought me my euphoria blossom, I was ecstatic. That's because I know you like colognes. Yes, you see? That, that so really, you remember, be pleased. remember the whole, col the whole <laughs> cologne situation couple week, a couple of weeks back? Rega what? Regarding what else again? You remember the whole, the whole perfume situation a couple of weeks back? Yeah. <laughs> and you remember how she was like, she was, you know, she was like smelling it and looking at it. Yes. <laughs> I, no, no, no. But you see, because I know that the road, you know, he does not go below certain standard, you see. He's a standard man, you know. I know him, so <laughs> I know what to expect, you see. I'm going <laughs> to drop the standard. I, <laughs> you can't afford to. <laughs> I, I am not somebody, on a serious note, though, I am really not somebody. I might seem like, quote unquote, eye flown, but I am really, really this cool, down to earth kind of chick who will appreciate a man, a man who just is there, he's supportive. It makes you want to be the better version of yourself every day. Yes. I appreciate that kind of thing. He might not have the money, but just to care for me, it's true, true, Donald, true, true. Not just to sure care that, for me, did. let me feel <laughs> that. No, it's true. Let me feel that he knows that I'm, I have needs, emotional needs. Yeah. He support if I'm sick, he picks up that's always a rub on the back. Mm -hmm, just mm -hmm. just the little little something then the little little fingernail something them done I'll trust me, makes me go crazy, go weak. <laughs> me not really want the big man where I drive down with him with him big run on a blow me and I'm like he no 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 no. Simpler things in life. If it comes with the money done all, I'll take it. Mm -hmm. Alright, big up yourself, Marvin. <laughs> Thank you, okay. Marvin. If the money comes, I'll take it because it can help out. But if no money comes, but the love is there and the appreciation and the respect and the play, my love ram. Yeah, you see, but my puppy, trust me. Sis, my for interrupt this all because you see, we say that very confidently. But when you get that man with the loving and he doesn't have the money man. and you in your local yeah, what, challenges what and they can't help you. No, no, what what real talk. Man. no. I'm, listen, I'm talking to you. You know what I'm saying is, you know, yes, what for me, you start to say, I can't look about something. You can't look alive. How look long here. you not going to have no money? Look here. It's my work. Me, 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 it's, it's me a key know, factor. I know. I know. I know, of, I know. I, I know of, a, of a situation. But I've never been drawn to a man because of his money. I've right. not always maintained no. that I know, independence. That's right. That's I, know, right. I, know, I know of a situation, you see, where a brethren, him, been to different countries, work, earning money and doing things and have, have a house, a nice house and thing, family and bam, bam, bam. And okay. one time the man in a difficulty. Well, not the one time, but he been in difficulty, but he always build back. I remember one of the time then when he was in a difficulty, the wife was like, you know, I got to look work. Mm. That's sad. Right? Yeah, that's not nice. No, <coughs> this is a bridging where every beck and call Every time she beckon, him answer, hmm. right? No. I couldn't do that. No, when when, when, when they talk her. about when they talk about, you know, trying to understand and trying to, it, it, 
please, woman, believe you me, it is difficult. Not every woman is the same. Clear, listen to me now. Not Ty, well, every woman Ty, is put, should be put in, in well, the well, same yeah. container. Clear. We're not all well, the same. Yeah, Clear. No, yes, I agree. Donald, let me tell you this. Well, yeah, I know. relationship run left me when I get sick and broken, you know, man. See it there? Yeah, but that's a type of woman that you have selected. No, but you wouldn't know. Wait, For 20 years, years, you wouldn't know, say, that you got. And you would never know she kept blood doing that? No. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. Me always Clear. pray for well, a life Cassidy. conscience. Cassidy. Cassidy. I can't have a man that is taking care of me. Yes, let me tell about Clear. When he's up and running and mm -hmm. getting jobs and do, giving money and stuff. I want him to stick around and leave him. No, 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 no. No, that's I wickedness. Yes, yes. yes. I I wickedness. Yes. That's wickedness. Yes, let me tell about Clear. Clear, Clear, I can all the way all night. No. No, my God. I never said that. Cassidy. Let me explain why I'm saying Clear, I can't all the way. Cassidy. Every week, Claire have a different head. That's not right? true. <laughs> Every week, is that different head? He calls my head, my hair is head. So, <laughs> so hold on. What's, yeah. no, what's wrong with that? That hard for, that hard for keep up. I what? do my own hair, yeah, brother. Yeah, but you pay for your own hair. I do my own hair, brother. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir, yes. brother. Yes. Don't laugh, Cassidy. You know I do my own hair, don't you? Yes, right now. <laughs> She's not saying anything. Right, right, right now, when Claire turn up, with the head, with the, with the head different, I found out, I wish Claire may have tonight. You might come talk about mid tripolar. No. <laughs> I love difference. I'm flexible. I love yes. variety. Nothing's yeah. wrong with that. No. There's nothing so wrong with that. that's the kind of personality I have. Spunky and vivacious and mm -hmm. lively. I don't do boring. Mm -hmm. So if I change the hair, fine. It's just a different feeling I'm having. Yes. But apart from that, the other which you're seeing on the outside. Me prefer the other head. Good. You can pay for the next one. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> So, this part what you see on the outside, really, really, really and truly... What the natural edit under that? Yes, man, all, all natural. Okay. Yeah. So, really and truly, I, I'm, I'm, I'm someone who... Boss, not tell about I can that take care of... Boss, you prefer the natural edit? No, man. I, I can take <laughs> care of myself, and I do take... He's crazy. Yeah? I do keep, take care of myself. Do so, you, I don't depend she's, yeah, on... She do maintains you, herself. Do you, do you on, not... Do you not submit... I love to submit. Do you not submit? I submit yes. applications and stuff, yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, but I think no, that, 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 that is a good point. Yeah, yeah. Because, some no, of it goes me, on. Me, you know, say boss, I prefer the other head. But guess what? Well, I don't want to talk about that. Okay. Uh. The boss, I prefer the other head. Yes. So why don't you please boss? So fine, listen to me now. You're yes. pleasing yourself. If it is yes. that boss, he loves X. Mm -hmm. And I give the other Bossy. Ed, the Ed more talk about. Give, every week I change the end. I give Bossy X for three, four months. Yes. You know, feel say me will like like why? Yes. Can give myself a little why too? Why Talk not? Why not? Because at the end of the day, you know, I am me. That's right. I am within myself, That's and right. I'm probably evolving somewhat too. <laughs> but um, I like why. Mm -hmm. So I little bit of why. Love yeah, but, but boss still loves what he loves, and I do give him for the most part what he loves. For the most part, the operative word. Yes, yes. but then the, the most end of the part. Day, because we are individual beings sharing a with space. someone a yes. space, you have to also bear in mind what it is that makes you. So, yes. so like, oh no, hold on, yeah. Marvin, you said something about the about the the shoes. Marvin, I'm my part of the mortgage. My work part, you know, when we're going <laughs> in the, with the boat, my brother. Well, clean it up. Right? Clean the mess up. There's nothing up wrong with that. Go. Clean the mess up. Right? I'm my part up? of the mortgage. Eh? Do you clean the mess up when you create it? Nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that. But, but women, I don't think, generally speaking, women are hard to please. You just have to know what it is that you have to offer, what mm -hmm. a woman wants, you know, and how well they mesh. Donna, the only thing so far from the two, from both women, I hmm. <laughs> think me hear really and truly what pleases them. What pleases us is when you yeah, listen. Sure. When a man listens, we don't cuss. We only, <laughs> I'm telling you, we only cuss when you don't hear. A lie, Matthew? True. So, so, and when so. they go toe to toe, mouth to mouth with us, we say, honey, listen, I don't think, but and and they start getting and defensive. Fall in line with and, ah, and you realize. Well, say that again. Oh, say that again. rule at all times. And so Donald, you just have a fall in, fine. The minute you want, please them. That's fall, fall in line. In line. With but but, but, but Donald, sweet all right. Words, sweet as and, words. And, 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 <laughs> and, and, and to somewhat, we are biblical people here, right? Yes. You realize that that's blasphemy because, because God never put it that way there. No. Right? A we rule. Simple. And them are blaspheme. So where is your story of evolution now? The we evolution? are in a, we're no, evolving, man. man. Yes, yes. How you come? Yes. Hold on. This is your words. Stop. Yeah. You just conveniently threw 
evolution yes. to the window Lord. and jump to the Bible. Talk it. I don't get you. Let's stick on the path of evolution. evolution. Women evolve too, brother. Yes. No, hold well on. No, 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 well no. Yes. If women evolve, when I try to say we have to evolve because we are sub it, me not evolve. Yes, you need to evolve. No, you need to evolve and fall in line. No, me not evolve. Fall in line. Fall in line. You have to hold your position. No, listen. You have man's law and you have evolution. You have God's law and you have evolution. I have man's law. Let's see what crazy the boy the boy says up there, Javine. Um, been calling but not getting any answer. Try again, no, Javine. Javine, we want to hear from you, all right, via the call. The only way to please a woman is to work, work, work. Lord, I'm oh terribly dear. Sick. 40 hours a day, build up the dollars, then die leaving them <gasps> everything before you can hear. You've never done anything for me. <laughs> oh, Jeez, God. And, and, and that, is, that, that is one thing women we, we, we know is very synonymous. Javine has had you never done nothing yet. I'm telling you. Yes, huh? you never done nothing yet. What was that? Never do nothing. Right. Daddy Ru. Yeah, man. Sadie says, not all women is the same women out there. Women out there, they can, you can please, but them hard to find. So there are women you can please, but they are Listen, hard to true. find. As far as I'm concerned, Let's go back to beef well, Anna, beef you, you have an original. And women is a cut, a blueprint from that original. All them are the same thing. No, we're not. No, you can't say no that. we're not. So that means you're all the same thing then. With all different. Men the all men are the same. No, we're different. So we are. So what? also, how oh, oh, that go? Okay, we are unique. You know, I'm gonna tell this story. I'm gonna ask for something. So men are like Eve. <laughs> no, you don't like Eve. And Eve brings sin. No. And Eve mash up the world. No, Adam made her pick everything. that fruit. <laughs> you Adam, Adam, Adam you what? Adam made us pick the fruit. Adam, fruit. No, Adam submit That's and him shouldn't fruit. submit. Adam, Adam submit. And him shouldn't submit. Adam shouldn't submit. So why are you blaming Eve? Yeah, no, Eve met the man. No, no sir. She, she, she did. Eve. No, sir. <coughs> she Eve. did not make him do anything. No. She did not make him do anything. He didn't have to do anything. Eve. Exactly. Well, his own free will. He Daddy wanted Daddy to do it. Eve he wanted got to. Eve lost. Daddy Rowe. You know, Call her on the four five three. You know, so drop her sleep, we'll be done. <laughs> Hello, call her on the four five three. Good night. Welcome to Real Talk. Is this Javo Jav Javin? Good evening, my brothers and sisters. Uh, hi, how are you, African? I, I have been good. I have been good. <laughs> Tell us about your views now. Ah, it is so crazy. You can never please a woman. So oh, that is an God. unfair question. Uh huh. You can you can toler they can tolerate you to a certain extent, and uh, you can work with them, but you can never please a woman, no matter what you do. Why do I think you're using one fat to fry all women? Fry them, brother, like bacon. Mm -mm. No, I am not using the one fat to fry everybody. I have grown up, and I have heard it from my grandmother. I've seen my granddad made her a beautiful chair, and she <laughs> loved that chair. <laughs> And then she said, you never do nothing for me. You never give me nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I see my mother so happy at this time. And she said, you don't do nothing for me. Real talk. I come and I go into it and I have friends. I have one friend that he bought his girl a Honda. He owns a Toyota Corolla. Mm -mm. And he bought her an Honda. Yeah, and at the end of the relationship, she mashed it up and she lifted her fire. You never give me nothing from. She me. is a wicked woman. I mean, I hide and talk. Yes, that's ungrateful. Yeah. She I, wicked. But is but it's I, not. It's, it's the like same that? thing. No, you never done for me yet. No, no, we're not all like that. Exactly. You know how I would love a Honda Civic 2000 and. 19. Right now? <laughs> <laughs> yes, look here, man. <laughs> no, I saw... You want a Honda. I, I want a Honda. Yeah, I love Hondas. Seriously love them. But, but you know, I saw a video where a woman, and that's why I thank God for all them in my brain power, you know, because I saw in a video where the man was excited oh, yes. and brought home brought a a a a a tira a tira you haven't seen that video and she was like a tira really i could just box her to the phone because i'm like you know i've nothing 
you, you don't have nothing, and the man bring you a car with a, a function. Four wheels. Yes. It's a function, and you're going to ask a teeter. Yeah. Where yeah. part me jump and rejoice. Even if you're in the back of my head, me, I say, boy, I should want under a civic state, but I love it. You're still great. I would have never even. Tell the man, look him feel mm-hmm. like he's not even. No, I couldn't. I mm-hmm. couldn't do it. Mm-hmm. It is true. It is I a very easy question to say. Uh, a man can, I say, please. A man can never please a woman, no matter how. Me hard. can please. No, no. We me can, can please. Can I don't think that's fair. To an extent, but we cannot please them. Cook for me sometimes, not all the time, but cook for me sometimes. Pamper me, rub my foot too. Yes. Carry me out to nice places. Uh-huh, buy me nice gifts, surprise me. <laughs> I can be pleased. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not every man can do that. And this, that is it, no. Me say me love how God make me because me now stop and say, okay, this man, my guy did this. Now go to the ends of the earth of try to look at things to make him feel good too because I believe in equality. Yes. If yes. I want a man to make me feel good, why shouldn't I make him feel good? That's right. Talk truth. Who for make all feel good first? No, but it shouldn't be a matter of first. On, on birthdays, we get <laughs> You're terrible. You're absolutely birthday. terrible. <laughs> no, <laughs> me, well, me, me, me want the unique. The boy, I'm one of those unique women who believe that if a yeah, man that is, that treats me a certain way, that, that is my take. If a man treats me a certain way, I believe strongly and I live up to that where I try my best to please him in return because mm, naturally. he's human. Naturally. Just like how me want to feel nice, he want to feel nice too. Yes. Yes. But if he's an old croft kinaki man, me not do nothing. True. True, true. Welcome to the bridge, um, Javine. Thanks for calling, D. All right, cool. It's now 11.30, guys. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services and Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Nassal is the sponsor of Real Talk. More vibes when we come back. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Are you sick of living an average life and tired of just getting by? Do you want to take your life to the next level? Learn the secrets of the super successful. Listen to Power in a Half Hour with Coach Mark this and every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Learn the habits of the super successful and how to make these habits work for you. Learn to turn your dreams and desires into reality. You can win in the game of life. Let Coach Mark show you how every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Don't miss the adrenaline rush with the musical ingenious Digital T. Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artists and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8 p.m. Styles FM. Digital T. Our brain. Well, you don't know it's Steph I Fire Show. Steph I Fire, wake up in the morning to the sunlight and your face lifted head to the sky, breathing the air of another day. Another Thursday, yeah. She give a thanks to Ja, guidance and discharge. She pray with this ritual devotion, she enhance her energy. A positivity. She open eyed and open mind and open thoughts. But you don't know it's girl birds I representing for the Steph I Fire Show. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook. 
Styles FM 96.1 Planning a party, club night out, stage show, a gospel concert or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Native Audio Stage and Lighting now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. All of the time, women in think are more higher than men. They value relationship, they value their job, they value their family. Even when men are not thinking in that direction, women always, because guess what? We want good for the children, we want good for the household, the relationship. So we always are looking in directions that you men never see because you men always looking in other directions. But women always looking on the value of life how we make things happen, how we make things work. Even when it come in like it cannot work, that's how we see it. When men don't see it that way, so women always have more emphasis in doing whatever they're doing based to their family, to their children, to whosoever, to their jobs. We always be going the all way out, putting more emphasis to make things happen. Real talk. Men disappointed, yes, because the standard where some men want women to be in, women always looking for a higher standard, and then I stick for this little low standard. When a man, anything goes, anything can go. Not every man, but most men but for a woman no she value it more she put more emphasis she wanted to go higher wanted things to be done a better way a different way and that is why make most of the times men disappointed because guess what the realistic of the woman and the things that the woman really want to happen even though they, even not, they are not on the same page 90 percent of the time so that's why we keep having so many people in this situation these days because every women see things different from men men see it different from we we want at a higher standard we put more emphasis in our stuff we want it to be better but not men real talk real talk indeed <laughs> thank you dear charmy charmy all right we're gonna look at the other part of the box box mm -hmm. is it that a woman's expectation of a man is too high mm, mm, mm. Mm. <laughs> I think sometimes... Read the it. <laughs> Read the it. <laughs> is it that a woman's expectation of a man is too high? And the reason why oftentimes women are disappointed because we have such high expectations. Is that the reason why we're oftentimes disappointed? Yes. Should we lower our expectations? Of course. Should Should we look at a man Make it in, the, realistic. in two eyes Make it where... Pal pal Two um, eyes where he's a man, he's different from us, he thinks and acts and operates different from us. So we ought to understand that share something going with into them. Hold on, I'm show you something, Zane. Why I think a lot of persons nowadays so-called like get um, go fitness gym and health conscious, enough, enough male, is all about, like what you know, that about your Morris Chestnut. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow more. <laughs> right. So men want for the inferiority complex. It's gorgeous. Right? Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. See? I just had a right? moment there. Yeah. <laughs> just had a moment. <laughs> <laughs> and this one. So, um, I, so, so it's me, it's well, I know, it's me, it's Cassidy, it's yeah, well, I know, me, it's Cassidy, it's Donald it's Deasso, it's right? It's me, Cassidy, Donald Deasso. Me, yeah. mother, <laughs> right? <laughs> Donald with the big belly. Well, I know, and Cassidy now, start work out. All because of you. <laughs> and that's what you do. If you so you find, say, now, after a time, me, me, have, me have relatives <laughs> where the whole metrosexual thing I come out now in a men and them want to look like this because them want to be what the woman, the woman ideal man is. Yeah, the but image. why not? Because they right? want us women no. to keep in shape for them. No, you see me now. more pressure. We original, more pressure. You see me now. Original scale was Right? I just, I just, I just saw me stay. Maga, 
Me never go. Never hold my food. And do what? Go to gym. Try not to kill me. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. That's my point. Kim. But we want to know if women's expectations are too high. Do you think it's too high, Donald? I tell you this. Yeah, women are just too choosy. Okay. Picky, 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 picky. picky. Sure yeah. Want. yeah, pretty, and pretty. You can't like licky, licky. the pleasing thing. You have some, <laughs> you have some women where you have them go for. All right, look on it. Them go for a doctor and a lawyer more than them little man who ride the bicycle mm-hmm. go down the road. When the little man who ride the bicycle go down the road, that take better care than I more than the doctor. You have the time to give her the you attention. No. Yeah. So, so sometimes it is all about the financial gain. And with the status. most women and status with most women. But, but if yeah, a woman so. chooses status over simplicity, is something really wrong with that? If that's what she um, sees as, you know, her priority or her means of interest. You just accept the man for who he is, man. And, and if he's not your type of him. man, you, you If I know you're a type of man, though, you walk away, yeah. you find a type of man. You understand? But you take up a man and then you go say to him, say, you're not pleased with him. Yeah? Sure. Me, not, me, me you yeah, have seven whole level and three sixty. Where you go back to school? Who tell you something you want to go to school? <laughs> I don't have no intention for no more school. But done with, with that part of school already. You understand yes. what I'm saying? So why you want to change me? Agreed. Yeah, but at the same time, uh-huh. couldn't it be a case? Couldn't you look at it from the perspective where um, you're both looking at seeing how it is that you can both grow in the relationship? Because educational achievement is a form of growth. Educational achievement is a form of growth. No, no. accomplishment. No, yes. no, no. 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 that's a pers- no. No, 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 that no, no, no. personal. That's, 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 that's a relative, per- man. That's yeah, relative. man. That's a personal thing, man. Growth. You want to get yeah, the higher job education. Is your- are better. Job on um, job. No, no. A, a lot of. But you want uh, to uh, be uh, the next glorified uh, slave. I, I, I was just going to go to yeah, entrepreneurship. It's simple, right? The, yeah. The time, the, the time we probably have to spend go to school, he can, he can go start a business, yeah, employment, but don't you need employ some you. Level of, yeah, but don't you need to have some form of training to be able to say start your own little business? The man, once you can hustle, I'll employ you. We have the money to pay you for the business you, run. You have some man who have some you know, very, very, very you know, successful business that go on in this country and we're I never know, going to one school I yet. Know, in know, but that's not the majority, is it? It. But it happens. But they have all of the money, mm-hmm. and they yeah. have all of the, 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 the females, them too, and they have everybody as around them. Not everybody that way as some of those men who, who have accomplished. But if it is that you do have your credentials, your your your, your academic um, qualifications, it's a plus. So, so because you have your academic uh, things, me must go get my academic no, I'm things saying too. It, uh, it's all about the people's priority, the two people's priority. Yeah. If so it you, is that you think, okay, it's uh, Daniel and I are together, and I have this degree. Donald has his subjects. He's a brilliant man, but he decides to just cut right his and just go do some business for himself and Donna, try a team. You know what? And if it is that we we see Donna, there, you know Donald what? has mm-hmm. the ability to achieve higher and accomplish more together collectively. Donna. No, why but not listen. Do? See what the sister just said there. You know, this is what it is. You, you're misinterpreting it. It's not the fact that they want you to change. It's the fact that she sees your ability. Exactly. Now, well, well, Anna, well, Anna, stick up in, stick up in. Now, if all right, just like the sister says, she's got a degree. You've got your subjects, right? You're right. going through in the relationship. You're growing together. She can see that she's evolving. She's, you know, becoming a, the, the greatest woman that she can be. Not, not through education, but through mm-hmm. challenging herself. Yeah. All the woman is trying to do is to get you to challenge yourself. No, but don't challenge. Not true. <laughs> All right. So I, I, <laughs> no, but it's true. Not true. All them something there. I, th- I feel a lot of the time men <laughs> misinterpret that. A lot of the time women, we just want you to be the best that you can be. <laughs> Don't that one sweetheart? Yeah, what? Set fire, fire. Here's my here's here's my part where that is concerned. And this is from when we know enough bridge and gotcha. Mm. And more than like the sisters, them fit. Admit, you know what it is, Donald? Mm-hmm. You're not fitting no more. You're, you're the crowd. 
Right. Fear crowd. As, 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 no, no, well, she, she, no, 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 me no me me no, me me no a brethren. What do you do? Me 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 no a brethren. Aye, ah, what do you do? <laughs> right? Uh, yeah. What do you do? What do you do? Right? Yeah. And you can match up with what she does and and the other per, the, no. the elite. But why does it have to be it, a it match? It happens. Why does it have to be a match? No, but it's it, it's it, it's the whole fact about it. Where in say in many of the situations, <laughs> eh, mm-hmm. the woman. And it happens with men too. Yes. Right? Yes. Because none no of them take up trophy wife. Yeah. Yes. Right? Yeah. And then she look good, and that's all them can do is bring her out for sure off. Simple. Right? But she's not probably even allowed she to communicate. Aye. Zane? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's the same thing where a sister in a study, and none of the time are the man spending money too and send her to school. Sometimes. No. While, while in my work. While him out there at work. Make it go to um, pr- pr- practically supporting her endeavors, mm. being the supportive man that he ought to be. And not, just, not just supportive, support. Mm. She educates herself and she reach a certain level in life. No, no, right, because she don't need him. She's no, now man. independent. Right? Because in many cases, once a woman sees an opportunity that, that is greater, she's going to go after it. Women are chasers of opportunity, and you can't blame them for that. I right? It is instinctive. I See? So no. Why men don't match no, up? Why no, men no, don't, no, 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 hold on. To match up? No, we, 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 what happened now? The thing about it is, I say, in terms of being the competitive being that women are, women not just compete against each other. Right? Women want to be the top boss. Women want to be the head of the household. Right? Now, in, in, in enough situations, you know, enough situations, if a woman could have got through and changed the bulb, do the lawn, all those things herself, and you have a lot of women out there who can, enough of them no one have nothing to do with one man. Right? You, 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 you can't give them no, no talk. No, 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 and, and, and also, you have a lot of women out there where they don't take talk. Simple. Because what? Them have. Independent. Ah, them have what them have. I can change a bulb, but I, I can need change a bulb. Yeah, me too. Don't school them. Don't school them. <laughs> well, we can't agree with that one, but we understand what I say because a whole, a, a whole paper bridging got through that. Yeah, a lot. A whole paper bridging got through that. Yeah, I, th- I, I, I would like to. But if it's a user, user no, thing. Man, no, man, no, daddy road, easy. Yeah? Right. I feel <laughs> that we should try and explore a different perspective in the All sense right. that because I, I think what you're ra- what, what, the point you're raising is very valid and it does happen. And okay, you do have women that are educating themselves more than the men out there. And what's happening is you grow. When you educate yourself, not just through school, even if it's self-taught, right. you begin to expand. Right. You begin to understand and see life in a different way. And then when you, you're with that partner that, as Donna said, if no one a challenge, he doesn't want to grow, that becomes incompatible. Mm-hmm. So what's happening is the growth in itself is separating. Stagnated yes, too. it's separating mm-hmm. the yeah. two. It's not about your yeah, this the man and he's a local man and he's a common man. It's the fact that I'm growing, grow with me. And this is why the woman, you know, I would say usually tries to encourage the man, why you not go back to school? Why you not try something different? Why you not set up your business? Mm-hmm. Because she's growing. No, but she did accept you. She did accept you, but, but she's but growing. growing. She's so growing. She no grow no more. So therefore, you need a you woman that doesn't want to grow. grow. <laughs> then, but then that is it. So you so you got to find a woman like that. But then that now go over. When you find now, Donald, the story you mentioned a while ago, where you say, okay, a man schools a woman, and then rap rap rap, she leaves him and gone. In many of the cases, in some of the cases rather, it's not that the woman does. Oh, I'm now. Cool. Um, yes. yes, so I'm gonna leave this guy. Mm-hmm. No, as she mentioned, a very valid point. She now sees a way in which we can all grow. We, both of us can grow some more. Why? You, that's, but that's why not? Just you're saying why, but I'm saying why not? Yes. So how do you deal with that? Because you're, we're on both different pages yeah, now. But, but look, Daniel, you're more that put that now, yeah. Zane. Since I want to grow, 
right? I will spend some more on the education. Go get your doctorate, you know, yeah, sir. Go for the tour away. Yeah. Right? Me keep back here, sir. See? Me go and run the shop. Yeah, man. I make money in the shop. I make a pay for your doctorate. See the growth there? No, me not pay for it. Because, I tell you, there's a chance that when you don't pay for it, you're like a shop where you want to me. Nothing. But there's a time, too, though, there's a spin to that story about doing for the women, sending them to school and all. You find that sometimes when the woman is done, there are men who believe that, hey, I me do this for you. So right now, I'm going to own you. Definitely. Right now, anything I say goes because I'm me put you where you're I me put you where you're there. Mm-hmm. So you find that that level of suppression kicks in. Mm-hmm. This woman now has her independence mm-hmm. where she is self-reliant. She ain't going to stay around with you. She's not going to stick around with you because of the treatment and that level of suppression that she's getting from the man. So sometimes when they leave, people look on and say, oh, she has she mm-hmm. because she take the man money, go mm-hmm. school, and then turn on and left yeah. him. Sometimes they don't know what happens underneath. Yeah, that's right. Some dangerous things are in a boat and do it. Yeah. yeah, but the same goes for women as well. I'm not talking about the rest of Jamaica. I'm not talking about my little town. Man turn on one in a nurses, teachers. Them go turn accountants, all them type of thing. And the minute them reach up the sock, this little man now, uh, this yes. little man in you know, them corner again. Yeah. You, you, you know, you know, understand you, 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 you know, and then you, know, you want him to come, you, you want him to come grow too. And, yeah. and at the same time too, the women who know that they don't want the man have yeah. women. You know, one of the reasons why you build up the man and them left you? Yeah? The man a hunter. He might go, they go on to the whole party. We are revolving. <laughs> we are growing, Donald. Yeah. We're going to change yes. too. Okay, so you're going to turn <laughs> hunters to. Oh, no, Huntress. Uh, huntresses. <laughs> <laughs> but, but seriously though, the women who use the men like that, I don't endorse mm. that at all. If you're no straight up say you don't want this man, leave and you're only going to take him because you have a money and I'm yes, pocket cash in the school, leave him alone. Leave him alone. You don't believe yeah, night at all. Real. You don't want to be used, don't use a man. The, other, the other Edna part, we have 10 minutes. Edna really go differently too. I'm serious. But this is why... Sad, yes, sad. Yeah. This is why communication is the key. And just like what the lady was saying before we came back into the show, this when we go through this, we end up coming on different pages. True. Because I'm growing, I'm seeing the world differently, I'm learning about different things, I'm inviting you to grow with me. And because you don't want to grow, <laughs> that's that killing grow. my growth. But it doesn't have to be education, though, you know? No, I'm not talking education, I'm yeah. just talking about advancement in life. Mm-hmm. You know, True. whether it's spirituality, whether you're in the church more, you go deeper into the church, so, so or into your fitness, your health. You think you should have stay home dads? <clears throat> Oh, good God. <laughs> Donald. Oh, Donald. Seriously, Donald. Uh, stay uh, home. Stay, stay home. home. Yes. So we are coming that. Why, why, why what are you coming that? What do we still man do? Because of the children? We're not, we're, we're not, we're, we're going to pick up the yeah, people and cook. Wash up. Yeah, but one hand. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, man. You can just have your shelter on a shelter. No, yeah, man. Sis, check it now. You, have, you, have, you, have, you know, if you put food in him in a fear bank account, Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know something? Eh? Oh, that sound, Cass. Don't respect. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but that is happening now. You've got a lot of women out there getting up and going to work, and the man them are looking back the pitney them and looking about the house. That we're talking about. No, that, the whole dynamic has shifted now. Yeah. You have women hunting and gathering while the men are there nurturing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Me Personally, Evolve. I feel that that is just a reverse of the natural yeah, order. Yeah, what I'm, what I'm accustomed to, right? Yeah, me not really support that. Sorry. The man need to go hunt and gather and leave us to nurture. Yes. Man to go hunt. Yes, man, yes. Man, man. the man need to hunt and gather. Yeah. The women should be nurturing. Yes, if and you can work, work, but nurture. That's your key role. It's sad to know that there are men who, it doesn't matter where or how she got that money, once she brings it in, he's good. He's spending it. Yeah. Sick yeah. and him not a shame neither. Sick, not at all. We know. No shame, <laughs> just spending half the money. <laughs> <laughs> but for me, um, as it relates to relationship, career, and family, I do believe that there should be a balance. So it's a third of a balance they're going on for each. I don't believe that a woman should just okay sit back and spend all our time just on 
a relationship, uh -huh. for, for example, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and not looking to see how she can make herself self-reliant and but sufficient. That, that mm -hmm. development still uh, evolving, you know? yeah. like I remember back in our hour when we had, when we had a little kid, our mother stay home and I take care of Yes, her. definitely. Yes, our oh, mother stay home and make sure me, me never have a problem with my mother. I love my mother to death because exactly. she always at home. Yeah, glad, when you, glad when you go home, you're she. There's a it. shift in the whole economical structure. Mm -hmm. So you find that women have to know, go out there to work because of them eyes. No. Uh, most of them are the because of them eyes. <laughs> <laughs> them see the lady that drive, go down the road in the car and want, want to. Yeah. I never know so she can just drive in a fair in the one where her husband out. <laughs> yes. You understand? Them sort of a situation. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> you, understand? <laughs> you know the reason why women have come, let's say, somewhat obsessed with career advancement? Because of what you said earlier. Mm -hmm. You don't want to grow. You don't want to change yeah. because you are happy the way you are. So, what land it? So, uh, as a uh, hunter. All right. Ah. Uh, uh, as a hunter, you don't want to grow and evolve. You want to hunt in the same circle, in the same place. You don't want to see what else is out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you see, what happens with the woman is that she's the woman, granted. she's evolving. So, she wants that. She needs you to grow and to change. Do you understand? And you know the wickedest thing at the end of the day? Ecclesiastes mm -hmm. coming, not true? <laughs> At the end of the day, it means nothing. nothing. <laughs> what, 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 what means nothing? Everything. The big education. True, true, true. Just true. like the man where we're going to have none. none. Mm. You understand? You go down, see him, you like him. Mm -hmm. You understand? The whole aspect of life. And I mean, I don't really want to sound really crazy upon this. Your eyes. Mm -hmm. You see. Then suppose we never have TV in our house. So they know that Kellogg's did, did exist. We don't eat sunshine, snacks, everything. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. and that's the thing. People see, and because they see them want, and because they want, they want more, and they keep wanting more. See, so it's that an inception. Huh? It's an inception. Yeah. And it means nothing at the end of the day. It means absolutely nothing. nothing. Well, the same way. <coughs> we just have to find. For, my, for anybody to be pleased, you just have to find my view, the compatibility. My, my, my view in terms of... Um, and God, definitely. My, my view... <laughs> God alone. My, 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 my view in terms of the whole um, career, family, and what's the other one? A relationship. I strongly believe that um, different women have different emphasis. Well, yes. Right? Because... You have the woman who really would have focused upon her relationship and do whatever necessary to make it work. You do have the woman who, no matter what, into the family, mm -hmm. you know, our family yeah. bond. Yeah. And, 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 yeah. and some of the times, family in the sense, it can be her immediate mm -hmm. or, extended. or extended family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? And yeah. hold on, hold on. You have the mm -hmm. career woman now. Oh, just pure career alone. Where, where would she? You have to wait when she's done. Mm -hmm. Our this and our that. She work, first, she want her diploma, she want her degree, our right? And every time, so, so what? When we <laughs> start a family, no, I want to achieve this first, yes, right? She want to get her job first. She want to get everything first before we mm -hmm. start a family. Then, then, then start coming the mid thirties, the high thirties, the forties, the high risk, the high risk. Then she's, then she's sad. Yeah. Then she's sad. Mm -hmm. So the career True. woman, some of the times. Well, she, she feels to know how to balance it's a disadvantage. the home yeah. career. All the money in the world can't make her happy now. No. Right, can't make her happy. Yeah, age. that's true. So that's very true. Enough of them something that is, is really left to an individual's own ideal. Mm -hmm. yeah. What is her ideal? Priority. What important Old. to she? Mm -hmm. Right? Who she really would have want to make life with and how she want to make life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it's a family. To me, I want to thickest thing where you need to maintain. Of family of a thick. Oh, yeah. Family 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 very, right? Very because at the end of the day, if you fall sick, family. family. Oh, yeah. 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 Nobody will be there work. for you like family. that. Family. Mm -hmm. No matter what. Family. family. And if the career woman, no have no kids, 
she have her family kids for help for raise. Yes, true. Right? And adopt them kids as fear her own kids. Auntie, her niece, her nephew, yeah. a fear her picnic yeah. them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you have to know how to... Right. Yeah. You, you have those that are not blessed with it. Yeah. You have those who are blessed with it. But the time when they do it, mm -hmm. career. Career. Right? True. Yeah. For your born, you know, grandma always I tell you, and great granny tell you, say, Pitney hard for take care of. So Pitney will always be hard for take care of. Mm -hmm. You see, once you have that, once you're oriented, once you're, once you're, once you're oriented mm -hmm. in that mindset, mm -hmm. if you know, say, boy, you are career oriented, you could have 45 Pitney. Your career, I go still. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Still, yeah. Have, still, have, still have the education yeah. Yeah. because your goal, you 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 cannot you, you cannot flip pancake and a study because you know what you want for make yeah. the, for make the family. Get seven thousand dollar a week for your pay, but she have five beating up a you. See oh it there? Gosh. What? Have five a you. Oh and all God. she work is the minimum wage. Minimum wage. How she, she do it? I don't know. Eh? But she get it done. How she get it done? And mm. she not have no father to take care of them. How she get it done? You need more women like that. I love stories like that. Oh, yes. Yeah. Great you see stories. Like that. Indeed. Trust me. Indeed. I want to play one, one, one thing there before we close. It, it is, is, a, is a woman's perspective yeah. of how men are. And I'd like to crave oh, the wonderful. indulgence of my two females. my two well learned <laughs> <laughs> female <laughs> can you can play that box for me good evening judges biologically sex is designed for one main purpose procreation anything else that's extra the female reproductive cycle comes around once a month for a man it's every day for each sexual act the woman's one egg is matched by the man's 120 million sperm cells. Now let's do some calculation. 120 million sperm cells a day, every day, as opposed to one egg a month, every month, means, assuming all the cells are viable, that it will take only 30 men to impregnate all the women in the world. This points to one clear fact. A man is, by nature, polygamous. Monogamy and fidelity are unnatural situations promulgated by religious beliefs and social pressures. Take those away, Every man would cheat. It's simply biological. Now let's look at the extra. It's a known fact that women for the most part are more emotional than men. So it's natural that after a sexual encounter, she'll be attached. But because a man is visual and logical in nature, there's no emotion involved. For him, it's just a physical release that's got nothing to do with love. A man loves his woman by protecting and providing for her. Period. It's really quite simple. For a man, the physical and the emotional, two separate entities. Indeed, real talk. You well hear said. real talk, Donald? Yeah, mm -hmm. That is real. You hear real talk? Yeah, mm -hmm. Okay. I think that was well said. Well said. I just, we don't want to hear nothing more. Sure, done. Which means that we are allowed to hunt. No. Oh, watch it out. What's your saying? We're highlighting that, that <laughs> we need to know so we know. And top, mm -hmm. that's just mm -hmm. it. Yeah. <laughs> and it's true because everything you guys have said today has been based off the physical. Yeah. It's yeah. been based off any form of emotion or spiritual or mental. It's all been physical because I want them to see and I'm money and I care. It's all physical stuff. No, what, let me tell you how, how men emotions go now. Right? I'm malice on have, man. No, yes. we see it. We, it. We, we see it first, we want it, and then we go try like it. And they want to get it? They know what I want it. No, when we get it, we love it. Mm -hmm. Depends on how it is given. Given. You try still when you stop growing up and you stop growing up. No, 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 grow no more right times, you know. Oh, yes, man. And, and, uh, <laughs> All right, well, you know, we have come to the end of the show. We yep. really, really want to thank our, well, should I say, our yeah, our, 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 yes, our guest and um, colleague. <laughs> 
Oh, Sapphire fire. Sapphire fire. You got it. Yeah, you got it, girl. You got yeah, it. Sapphire. <laughs> I, it's so cute too. I can't. I can't help but say that. Um, thank you for coming tonight. We know you had a long run. Yes. To travel. It was to, a great show. Come. Thank you for having me. It was our was our pleasure having you. And of course, my comical, yeah. recent of times listeners, Donald surprised me. I was pleasantly surprised when he told me who he was because I didn't know the face. Yeah. But I was ecstatic because I. I knew I would be in for a great laugh, and I was actually. I got a great <laughs> laugh tonight. It was a so pleasure thanks. being here, man. Yes, Donald, yeah. thanks for coming. Pleasure meeting you. And I know you'll keep it locked to Styles FM and to Real Talk. Of course, on behalf of my engineer, Cassidy, the silent one, and my crazy co host, Daddy Rude, yep, who yep, earned yep. himself about four claps on the show oh, tonight. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> This is Lady Cleo signing out. Until next time, be good. Share with somebody. Give somebody something that you're really, 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 really not necessarily using or needing for yourself, but it's good enough to be given to somebody else in need. Help someone today because the person you help today might be the person who helps you out tomorrow. On behalf of everyone here on the crew, on the set, Lady Cleo signing out, and Daddy Rude will tell us... We got my wife for life and my picnic. <laughs> Next week, guys. Love y'all. Bye-bye. And, and I'm going to play this song for... Um, for me? For Seth, no, she, no, I'm giving another woman a chance. Okay, right? fair enough. Fair I, enough. I'm going to play this song for Sapphire Fire. See, see? Because, I'm not selfish. Yes, because oh, sure. I think... You know, it's one of your favorite songs. Oh, cool. Yes, and I'm just sharing it to her because I don't think she knows it, and I think she deserved this song. Oh, thank you. Yes. CG? Yes.